I said stop posting my fucking street address, motherfucker! Stop posting the street address! You're gonna get fucking blood, motherfucker! Welcome to Subscriber Sunday. Mary Caramello Live! Thank you for subscribing! Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Subscriber Sunday! How's everybody doing out there tonight? God, it looks fantastic already. We just start, and I just turned on the uh, computer. Wow! How is everyone? I know we take a day off at a time. Uh, and I'm trying to make an expression or an, an explanation to my ignorance and my rudeness to people. I got a shirt on to prove that I am not a homophobe any longer. I'm trying to be straight, happy gay. I got no problem with people as long as they respect me. I love all my fans, gay, straight, or otherwise. As long as they respect me, I respect them in return. If they're assholes to me, I just turn around and walk away. I mean, I've got a lot of assholes on my on my. Uh, your gay, your your uh, your your immoral gay remarks will not bother me anymore. <clears throat> now, now, people, people, I'm working on my changing. I've uh, got a lot of work that has to be done, but I'm still changing. So, okay, folks. A lot of people like the fact that I uh, took all the chicken out of this uh, bucket and turned it into a hat, so I'm going to wear it tonight as well. Maybe, maybe uh, just for a little while, not for the entire show this evening or the entire stream this evening. Um, I, eh. Hey, Perry. Uh, by the way, everybody, welcome to Subscriber Sunday. If you'd like a phone call from Perry, whether you are... Uh, based in North America or anywhere in the world, we, you know, it doesn't have to be um, just International S uh, Subscriber Sunday to have international calls. Wherever you are in the world, as long as you're a subscriber on Twitch, you can get a call from Perry. We want a, a specific push for first-time callers tonight, but even if you've uh, gotten a call before, just shoot over your uh, phone number to a moderator or the Perry Caravilla Live account, and uh, we will get that going. Now, Perry... Why don't you tell everybody what you did today? Because I wasn't happy with it. Let's see what the people think about it. Why don't you tell people what, how you spent your day? Well, I checked on, on the uh, line again to see when the skateboard parks are going to be opening up. And I made a phone call to my uh, skate park down the street over here at Pedlo Field. And the guy answered the phone. And I was surprised that uh, somebody answered the phone. And he said they opened the park two weeks ago. So I got my stuff together and put it in the car and went down the street and had a little skateboard session. I mean, it's the first time in over a year I got on my skateboard. It made me feel really good. Really good. I, I didn't do anything radical or anything special. I mean, I, I just skated around the park on the flat ground. I, I uh, went into the little four-foot high half pipe to uh, do some fakies back and forth as well as uh, a couple of kick turns, and that was it. And then I, uh, you know, I would think it was there maybe 20 minutes, 20 minutes, maybe a half an hour. But I, it made me feel great. I saw my my uh, my old school friend, Mike. I call him Mikey. He's a school teacher and uh, he's one of the best skaters here at this uh, skateboard park. Um, saw him there. And uh, yeah, Perry, I, yeah, we don't want to get into a whole boring skateboard discussion. But, uh, you know, I, I just think it, it, now with. You know, you being a professional streamer, I don't think you skateboarding a ton is uh, good for business. I really don't. Because, you know, anything can happen. Now, you just said skateboarding a ton. I don't skateboard a ton. You I know barely I mean. skateboard an hour. If I skateboard an hour. Look, my only goal when I skateboard 
is is that little half pipe. It's a four foot high half. Right, pipe. but why don't why don't you just and leave that for the little kids that want to skateboard? You know, they, little they see kids, some weird dude, old, dude. old guy coming in, and it just ruins the whole Mikey. vibe for the kids. I, I call him Mikey. His name's Michael. I don't know his last name, what but is he's he, in twelve. No, he's in his maybe forties or early fifties. Oh, okay. And well, he clearly still skateboards. He's, he's... he's a school teacher. No, yeah. wait. He told me because we clearly there's something wrong with us. He's ten years younger than me. He's ten years younger than me. I'm forty, uh, fifty-seven. He's forty-seven. There's nothing wrong with him. Little kids. Oh, there's a lot wrong. You're with in him, New anyway. York. Though, that type of skateboarding is for little kids. Anyway, going I, down I, I was. The sidewalk. I was not happy to hear that uh, Perry went skateboarding. So, but we'll, let's uh, let's move on. We'll uh, get to the comments and then we'll get to. And I have uh, all my equipment on as well. Okay. Yeah, I, I bet you look ridiculous. By the way, I've seen you in your equipment. It's for skateboard park. Tonight, Perry's Monster Energy drinks are brought to you by me, Rob Deer, the actual pro skater. Reminder that Perry couldn't skate his way out of a wet paper bag. I can't skate as good as you, Rob. That That's definitely an agreement. That is definitely, I agree on that. No, I cannot skate as good as you. But I definitely can skate my way out of a wet paper bag. I could still skate half pipes. I could still skate uh, the big bowl. Not as well as I was when I was 15. Not at all as good as I was when I first turned 15, 16. Speakers up slightly. Perry, Rob again. It'll give you a case of monster energy. Just admit that you will never, ever, have gone pro. Even without the car accident. Never. Ever. Dude, how old are you? We didn't, we never met uh, when, when I was good in 79. Probably were just born when uh, I almost lost my life. And then you became a hotshot pro and turned into some hotshot big shot around the Tony Hawk era. Okay? We don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Just being a smartass. Thank you for subscribing, Hunter. Perry, give me two thumbs up for Mama Julie. Mom B and all the other moms in the Perry verse. Happy Mother's Day. Hashtag tips for mom. Happy Mother's Day to all my mamas out there, all my girlfriend mamas out there, all my wifey poo mamas out there, including my ex-wife, as well as my daughter, who is a mother of uh I know at least one child. I don't know if she's had, had any more children, but I saw a picture of one child with uh, my 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 uh, my new son-in-law and my my daughter. And this was about a year or two ago, I think. We saw a photo of her on the internet. Listen, I told you once. Back the fuck off, Dark Side Phil. I am a cryptocurrency thousand air. I will gladly keep talking for him to fuck with you. You mean dip shit, Phil. He's nothing more than a dip shit. He is a piece of trash. He will not make it as good as me. He's actually made it way better than me for seven years before I even got on the fucking computer doing streaming. And then comes along Perry Caravelle Alive. Now he's scared to death that he's losing his station all because of me. I'm the smallest guy on the planet. Well, I'm almost the size of a, of a uh, Smurf. It's just, I'm not in blue. Well, I got a couple of, I got a blue H and a blue PPP. I'm a Smurf compared to dark side. Phil. I'm going to call him dipshit Phil because of his crybaby attitude. <laughs> But this chair, this chair that I'm sitting in, he will never, I repeat, never get it back. Listen, anchovy pizzas, fresh fish, ass fruit, 
firewood, Scientologists, milk, cement, McDonald's, eggs, pickles. This is all the shit. Give, if, if this is Dark Side Phil's the head Hashtags. moderator, this is all the crap they keep sending to me to piss me off. It goes in the trash. I don't eat it. I don't want it in my apartment. I, I don't even want to look at it. It's it's garbage. Just go straight in the trash. Okay? I'm not taking a bite out of another fucking uh, 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 overcooked crust with, with anchovies. I'm not taking a bite out of it. Whatever, But again, whatever you send me, I, again, like all that crap that you like to send me, this chair you're not getting back. I'm not failing. I'm growing. And it looks like you're failing. So why don't you get your shit together, your act together, and become a real man and a real human being and turn your fucking station into something positive rather than all this negative garbage. That's what will help you get ahead in life. I'm doing what I can. Look, look, time out. I'm going to be polite here. Look, I had many, many, many years of negativity in my life, all right? And I had to fight it day and night, night and day uh, to fight off this negativity. And a lot of it had to do with my my uh, auto accident that almost killed me when I was a kid. But to go along with that negativity is this negativity. I don't want this negativity. I'm on medication to get rid of that negativity. Now I got to deal with this negativity. My God. Now these streams are, are, are turning me into a positive mode. I'm honored to be doing these streams. It's making, it's lifting me up. It's pulling me out of the, the, the baby, uh, the baby boy that uh, has been a baby and, and uh, suicidal and crap for all the years that I went through my suicidal garbage, <clears throat> my, 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 my despicable tendencies and stuff. Those, those years and those days of my life are long gone. I'm growing. I'm turning into a real man now. A human being that's acceptable to to my to my others out there, my other comedian friends, my other my other actor friends. Hey Perry, uh, yes. while you're on this uh, positivity kick, I'd like to uh, throw out the first offer of the night. Okay, this is a good one. This 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 comes in the the theme of uh, you know your overall acceptance for people, and uh, th this will uh, this will be good. So. For twenty one dollars, it uh, seems to be an arbitrary number. Uh, get the um, get that RC pillowcase that you got the other night. The one in the mail it should be in the back of your couch. RC. Yeah. Pillowcase. So remember, you got that the other night in, in Friday night mailbag. There he is. Bring him over here. Um, okay. So, uh, $21 to look at the pillowcase. You know, like, yeah. look at his face. Look at his face, not yeah. the other side. Is his face on both sides? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so, turn it to the side, I guess, so we can see you looking at it. That's good. So look at look at the pillowcase and say I love you and then kiss it. You're out of your fucking mind. No, it, it, this will go a long way, Perry. This will get funds for the channel. No! Just, oh, that motherfucker raped me, motherfucker! Fuck you! Fuck you! He raped me! That son of a bitch raped me! I love you! Fuck you! Perry, it just just to put it behind you so we never have to talk about it again. That's this will be this will put it to bed. One time only. Then I'm going to burn this fucking pillowcase. No, we'll sell it. We'll sell it. No, no, but I'm burning. I'm going to burn it. I'm going to show it all on the fucking fucking phone. Lunatic. Please just do this. Thank you. Get the pillowcase. I'm burning the pillowcase live on my fucking phone just get it please 
Okay, now look at look at him sincerely. Don't curse and say don't not angrily. Sincerely say I love you and then kiss it. Oh, you are you are fucking. No, no, no fucking way. Perry, you're doing this. Twenty-one dollars. Oh, kiss my ass. No, Perry, we already agreed to do it. You're doing it. Where are you going? Where are you going? Defiant piss already. I am not accepting this crap. That fucking guy sexually assaulted me. How long is this piss going to be, by the way? You're, ner- you're putting nerves to my system, and uh, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Perry, let's go. Get back. That's a good guy. Come on back. Get the pillow case. This fuck, Give it this a, fucking asshole. No, this no, 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 no. We don't need your commentary. We don't need your commentary. Ass. We don't need your commentary. Just look at it and say I love you and kiss it and we can move on. Now pretend this is Whitney or Pam Anderson. No, no, no. Just, just do it, Perry. Oh, Pamela, if it was you. I love you. Thank you. Was that so hard? Yeah, if it was Pam, it would have been better. Yeah. Well, no one's going to pay you $21 to uh, kiss a Pam uh, Anderson uh, pillow case. Plus, she probably looks a little rough by now anyway. It's, uh, she's an old woman. I'm an old guy. What's the difference? Well, it's a man's world. You know, an old, older guy can go with a younger woman. Uh, you know, the other way around, not so much. Just the way it is. Whatever. She might be an older woman, but uh, she still looks good. Okay, and I dated older women like, like Terry, for example. Snort. You're more an idiot. Why don't you just quit, dummy? Your brand of streaming is no match for my powers of exploitation. Give me my chair. Good luck! Good luck! We're gonna kick your ass off the stream and sweep you under the rug. Bye-bye, Phil. Dumbass Phil. Oh, no, it's, uh, dumb shit, Phil. That's it, dumb shit, Phil. Get the stream off to a strong start. Open your patio door and scream out. They may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom loud as can. What? You can do that. (laughs) Just open up the they patio door and scream. They're not taking our stream away? They may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom away. Okay. The fucking sun is blasting. Oh, shit. Oh, damn. Oh, oh fuck. I gotta get the pliers for that. The sun is there right now. It's going to be a pain in the ass to open my door. Just just open the door and yell it out, and then you can close it right after. Again, it, the sun, when the sun heats up the uh, oh. ra- the, uh, let's see. Uh, fuck this. No, I, I'm not doing it. I can't do it. Yes, Wait till the hurt. sun goes down. Wait till the sun goes down. All right. We'll wait, wait another we'll hour. All right, all right. We can do that. Wait another hour. Then I'll do it. Do we have to wait another hour for you to sit down? You act like a child. Yeah. 
Oh, I'm not the one who acts like a that... child on this channel. That's all you, buddy. Well, we'll think about that. Wee! <sighs> Perry, how is your best friend, Saint Mole? Mole Slims have been concerned about not his my best friend. with the never lack was, of a new podcast. Hashtag Mala Morio Day, hashtag Mole Bless. Again, Mo and Drip. Mole never was my best friend, never will be my best friend. He's a business associate. That is it. <clears throat> my best friend I've known since I was eight years old and he was seven years old. And I'm still friends with him to this day. Hey, thanks for hosting a Mala Memorial Day pool party for Max Male Mole Slims. What should we bring with us to apartment 102? What? Can we use your towels? What? There's no party here. I'm out of town. I got places to be, people to see. Thank you. Bye. Memorial Day pool party. It's already happened. Hey, sweet. Scarlet! Just wanted to let you know everyone in SAG after loves and supports you. We are so proud you are the streamer of the year. Fuck I Phil. love you, sweetheart. Thank you. Thank you, Scarlett. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Love you too, babe. Love you too. When are you coming to back to Los Angeles? Perry Caravello, December 12th, 2021. You will rest in peace. <laughs> why, why are you predicting the day I die? Why are you predicting the day I die? That might be my wedding date with Scarlett Johansson. How do you know? Perry, we need to get you mole masked. Trust me, there will be no reverse mole feeling going on. And you will be dripping in slave cunny. Hashtag mole maxed. I'm not taking a mole ma mole blah, blah, blah. A vaccine made by mole? Are you crazy? Mole maxed. God almighty, that's called how to get poisoned and die. Mole cola is enough of enough poison that's on this market. And I don't know why he's not behind bars for that shit. Happy Mother's Day, you pregnant ass bitch. Damn them titties is looking good. Looking like you got a load of milk in there. I don't know who he's talking to, but I know he's not talking to me. Fucking wacko. Hey, Dada. Can I come over and play today? I want to be your big boy. I have been good all weekend and it's our visitation time. I love you, Dada. Trev! No need to come over now, but we'll talk. We'll talk later. And you're not coming over right now. Okay, buddy? Thanks for the message. Perry, we're really enjoying the streams. Please Thank don't you. go snowboarding, break your neck, and be unable to give yourself a wedgie with your shop back. Uh, I'll go snowboarding when there's snow on the mountains again. Because uh, right now the snow is melting, and I'm not going up to the mountains to go snowboarding. No. But I have started to skateboard again. And uh, I will be skateboarding again as much as I possibly can. Till the day I die, and it's not going to be on 12 12 21. You stupid son of a bitch. If I see you in Los Angeles, I'm going to stomp a mud hole in your rods and walk it dry. Can I get a hell yeah? What the fuck? Stone Cold, Steve, we were friends for years. I mean, come on, you're friends with my old friend. Uh, uh, um, oh God, now I'm losing my thought. Um, you know Mike O'Hearn. You know, you know fucking uh, Lou Ferrigno. You know Arnold Schwarzenegger. These are people that I've known since, well, not, not all of them, but I mean, Mike O'Hearn I've known from Costa Mesa back when I lived out there in the 80s. Uh, Lou Ferrigno I met at the corner gym, which, is, which was down the street where I live today. Uh, Lou Ferrigno I met, God, in, in, um, uh, when I lived in Palm Springs. Back when I was a kid, he came out to visit. I don't know when he came out to visit, but I met him out in the desert back in the uh, 
back in the 70s, 80s. Um, it might have been the 80s. Um, just relax. And I met you, I think, back in the 70s. I believe I was with my cousin Mark at the time. Um, or was it over here at the corner gym when uh, uh, Lou Frigno used to work out there? Um, anyway, just calm down, dude. I don't watch your streams for fun cuz. Suge Knight owes me money from death row. I heard you're his boyfriend so you owe me that money I too. I don't know Suge Knight and I don't give a fuck about Suge Knight. Boyfriend, I'm not gay. I'm not as... I'm not going down this road. I'm just trying to show... Look, I'm happy. Okay? I'm happy gay. I'm happy gay. I'm happy. I'm not going down that road. We want you to star in the sequel to Old Yeller. It's called Old Yeller 2. Old Me Hour. Somebody's you, course, knocking on my door. Part of the cat Do killer. Sorry for... I'm, I'm not interested in Old Yeller 2. Whoever's at the door, leave it there, please. Thank you. Okay, Perry, two things. Number one, nobody's at your door, so they already left it. Number two... Do not interrupt a tip comment to talk to whoever's at your door. Okay? Right. Tip comments are always more important. It's more important. Well, okay? Respect people that send in the comments. You, even right now, you can't even process what I'm saying. You're still pointing to the door. Because somebody's banging on my door and you said nobody's at my door. Nobody's there. I'm looking at it right now. Nobody's there. Nobody's banging on it. Then Trevor's banging on my door and going into no, it. I'm, Perry, I'm looking right at it. There's nobody at your door. I didn't say you didn't have anything at your door. I said nobody was at the door at the time that you were completely distracted. Somebody left me one of these. Okay, fine. A BJ's so now, pizza. Now, okay, so sit down and open it. Oh. What's... Hold on. Let me move. Let me move this. Oh, shit. And it looks like uh, somebody sent me a BJ's pizza. Well, that looks like... With... Uh, I believe those are anchovies. I'll eat it. I'll be good. Yeah, take a bite. There's fresh and I'm tomato also, on it. Uh, okay, if, if you're done talking over me, uh, I'm going to replay the tip that you talked over when you got the knock at the door, just to be fair to the person who sent it in. You know, when, when somebody sends five dollars to, to say something, you know, don't talk over it and don't interrupt it, please. That includes mm -hmm. getting. That includes getting up. It's anchovy pizza. pizza. Volting. How, what would you give that at a score of 1 to 10? It's anchovy pizza. It's shit. Okay, that's not a score of 1 to 10. It's, it's I asked a for one. a score of 1. It's, it's, it's a 1. Okay. It's a 1. You suck me once, you fool me twice. I will not go until I jerk me nice. I need you now like I needed you then. Please jack me off till I come again. Oh, that'll never happen. Sorry. By the way, uh, Belusi uh, Sushi revised the previous offer. If you don't want to yell outside of your uh, patio because of, of the sun or whatever, and remember that was uh, to yell, they may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom. He says, "Tell him to wait a fucking hour or so." Okay, if you because I got to wait for the sun to go okay, down. If you can let me finish it without interrupt. Okay, Perry, if you can just let me finish without jumping down while I'm in the middle of talking, please. Uh, you got to learn how conversation works. Okay, you're doing it again. Usually, one person talks. Then, when there's a pause, when they finish talking, that's when you respond. Not when the other person is mid sentence. That's not how conversation works. 
Okay? Yes, sir. Now, Belushi Sushi said since the the door is problematic right now, he will also accept you yelling it into the RC pillowcase, which will be much easier, and you can do it and we can move on. And, and the, line, the line again is, they may take our lives, but they will never take our freedom. And you got to yell it as hard, loud as you can. On the, the pillowcase. They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom. Oh! I unzipped the pillowcase, uh, yelled it in. That's our C. Okay. That's one way to do it. Uh, we're not done with the uh, pillowcase yet. There's one more offer that involves the pillowcase. Can you get that back, please? Now what? <sighs> John Diaper is offering $22, so it's already an increase from the previous one. One dollar. Go so ahead. Just, just hold just hold up the pillowcase, similar to what you did before, although you don't have to say I love you, but let's just let's just do this. So hold it up like you're talking to him. Okay, look at look at him. Hold it up. What now? What now? Okay. okay, don't get upset. You just have to say to it, I lied about you raping me and I forgive you. I lied about you raping me, and I forgive you. Okay, don't add anything to it. That's good. That's good. Put it aside. Good job. Let me know when you send over the lighter fluid, because I got a, I got a big bag of matches in my kitchen. Well, you know that would be dangerous. That's a fire hazard. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Looks, it goes like this. You're gonna pay me back that money your boyfriend Sugos Muriel sent some gangsters to your apartment, Piotr. Oh, fuck you. Dude, look. Snoop Dogg, I, I, I don't know you. All I know is that you go on Jimmy Kimmel Live, who was my uh, producer and the guy that uh, put together Windy City Heat for me. Uh... Again, I don't know you, and I don't know Suge Knight. He comes on my stream. That's it, okay? I'm not his boyfriend. Uh, whatever Suge knows, whatever whatever Suge Knight owes you, that's your business with him, okay? This fucking stupid shit. President Caravelle is Private Simba the General Funk Regiment under Major General J. Diber. I'm looking for the Titan Fanny Pack. Any leads? Titan Fanny Pack? I have no clue what you're talking about. I uh, Oh, about Fanny Packs? That new Fanny Pack that came to me? One problem I had with it, and that was it. And that's the only reason why I'm not going to wear it any, any, any longer. I almost put everything into the Fanny Pack. And it was really nice, but where you put your cell phone, I couldn't lock it with my pin. So right there, that that turned that turned me away from that wanting to ever deal with that fanny pack. So I I I, Wait, I uh, what was it? What, what was the problem? I couldn't lock my phone into the pack because somebody could just go by and and and, and bump you and and next Why thing you know. Why can't you put the phone in the main compartment? Because the phone, I will always be using my phone. Why do I have to go into the main? I got everything in why the main did, compartment. Why does the phone have to be in the pouch at all? Why can't you just keep it in your pocket? No, I, I'm not sitting on my phone. The phone no, always not your goes back, in the pouch. Not your back pocket, like one of your front pockets. No, again, there's a pocket for the pouch, the phone in the pouch. That's why it's the North Face pouch is the best. That's why I own that that North Face pouch. Hey, T-shirt Tucker motherfucker. Last stream when you looked the guy's asshole was super hot. How about tonight you get your ass licked? 
Well, Layla, number one, I didn't lick any guy's asshole, one. Two, when are you going to come fucking respect me and be a lady to me like you did years ago when we were friends? What, because of that stupid fight we had at the Candy Cat? You turn into this fucking psycho bitch? Stop being a fucking psycho bitch and have some fucking respect. Damn it. If you have money to buy custom pillowcases with Randy Callahan on them, you have money to pay back what your boyfriend Sug owes me. I don't know Sug! I don't know these people! They just come on my fucking stick. They, they, I'm not, I'm not, I, take, I take back the word fucking. They just come on my stream, Snoop. You come my stream, they come my stream. Because I have the best stream on the planet. Better than that dipshit Phil. Agreed. Um, okay, so since he brought up the pillowcase, there's one more offer involving the pillowcase, and this will probably be the last one. This one's easy. Uh, you don't have to talk to it. You don't have to say anything to it. Uh, Can I puke in it? What's that? You want me to puke in it? Blah. No, nobody wants to see that. So get the pillowcase. What now? Okay, Belusi Sushi, thirty dollars. Okay, this is a this is a big one. Let me see both sides. Are they both the same? I guess so. I mean, he takes a nice picture. You could say that about him. Uh, thirty dollars for you to put the pillowcase on your head and pretend to be Randy telling Heidi about what just happened with you in your office. So it's it's a little uh, hmm, oh. ambition. Okay, basically, you put it over your head, right? The, the pillowcase, like it's a mask. And basically, you're- Explaining to Heidi? You're, you're, you're Randy. You're Randy, and you're explaining to Heidi, like, after you leave the office, he opens a door, and he'll say something like, you won't believe what just happened. And then you're basically explaining to Heidi what happened. Oh, he's going to lie his fucking ass off. Well, again, it's open to interpretation. So you could tell it from the, you're telling it from the perspective of Randy. So put, put it on your head like it's a mask. And then, you know, say, like, like Heidi, you won't believe what happened. And then, you know, get into it. <laughs> I'll tell you when it goes, since it'll be hard to see. <laughs> That's... Hold on. <clears throat> Pull it apart. Yeah, that, that's good enough. Okay. Now, now... Now you're now you're him talking to Heidi and in, 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 in his voice, if you can do his voice. But I don't know if you remember his voice. I don't remember his voice. OK. Heidi, Heidi, Heidi. Sweetie, you will not believe what just happened. That lo that young, lovable Italian stud that you liked that used to come in here that just left. Sweetie, I just made him allow me to suck his dick. Boy, oh boy, I, I won him over so well. And he jerked me off just the way I just the way I wanted it. I just he 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 did his stupid uh did his stupid act with uh, 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 that girl on the side of the freeway on ramp and fuck him. Fuck him if he thinks he's if he thinks he's gonna. I told him to suck my dick and he refused, unfortunately. So I made sure he allowed me to suck his dick. Eh. And and sweetheart, I sucked him like a milkshake. The way he <laughs> would have never, the way he would expect you to suck his dick. All right, honey. In fact, I hope. In fact, I believe he was thinking about you all the time that I was sucking him off. <sighs> mm. 
But uh, you know what? He jerked me off, and because my dick is so small, he had to use his pinky and his ring finger to wrap his uh, his, his uh, two fingers around my dick. Yeah, he, he got him his pinky and his ring finger around my dick to jerk me off. Anywho, I don't know what else to say about it. I was nice enough to give him some tissue to clean up afterwards, and uh, and then I don't know what the look on his face was when he walked by you, but that that's that. All right. So don't be mad at me about his uh, his disgusting look as he left this place. But uh, honey, I, I if you were hearing noises inside the office, that's what was going on. All right. Okay, let's get back to our business as usual, all right? Okay. Sorry you had to hear what was, I'm sorry you had to hear what went on in the office. Okay, stick to the phones. Thank you. Close the door. That was good, well done. Shit. Money well spent, I'm sure. Great job. All the world's a stage and all the men and women merely players they have their exits and their entrances. Now take a dump in the credenza you bozo. Shakespeare! Oh! Talk about Bozo. He's not even alive. My husband Bert Macklin wrote a damning report on the hashtag cat murders. I will destroy them for you if you prove you don't have a boner right now. Boner check. Sorry. No boner. L L L L L L L L L L L L Lickle pickle lickle pickle lickle pickle lickle pickle lickle pickle L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L L You say Randy didn't make you dandy, but you gave Shug that sweet candy. Baby, please visit me. I could use a pick-me-up especially in my love area. XO. I'm not visiting you. This is the only visiting I'm going to do, is right here on the internet. <clears throat> you come on my stream, and we visit, okay? Perry, I may have missed the stream, but could you kindly tell me what episodes you drank milk straight from a cow's nipple? Never. Never drinks milk straight from a cow's nipple. Hey, babe. Remember me? I put on a trash bag and did an impression of you to Whitney today. She laughed. BTW, I also represent Jasmine. Fook off. Publicist Jeff? I don't know. I don't know. Jeff is a pub. I, I don't know Whitney's publicist. I only know Whitney's uh, um, assistant. Okay, if, it, if that's his, if Whitney's publicist is her personal assistant? I didn't know that. Did not know that Whitney's publicist was her personal assistant. How long would you stare at the screen if you didn't hear from me? I don't know. Till I had to go to the bathroom. Uh, it's uh, time to get our first phone. We're about an hour in, so let's get our first phone call to subscriber Sunday. Okay? okay. Now, here, I actually messaged you the number to minimize the time. So if you click on that messenger thing I showed you earlier before we started... If yes, click below, sir. Click right below. You should see a message from me with the phone number. Please don't read Got it aloud. Okay. Okay. That's the number to dial. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, that's the number to dial. Star six seven. Okay. No, back up. Okay. Hello? Thank you for subscribing to Perry Caravello Live. Who am I speaking with, please? No way. This is Perry. My name's Jake. Jake, I how are you, son? I never hear from you. Oh. I'm doing wonderful, Perry. How are you? Very good, sir. How are you? How's everything? Where am I calling, if you don't mind me asking? I, I live in Ohio. It's in the Midwest. You may not right, know, I, where, I know where Ohio is. I've been to uh, the Rock Hall. Um, what part of Ohio do you live in? Oh, I live in Cincinnati where we uh, destroyed noodles with chili. Okay. That sounds cool. It's pretty gross. No, it's disgusting. I okay. wouldn't recommend it. Okay. But um, I just have a quick question. So uh, my friend and I were going to come out to California and go skiing. We were wondering if you wanted to come snowboarding with us and be like our child entourage. Where are you going skiing? Mammoth? Uh, yeah. Is that where you plan to go snowboarding? Uh, not, not anytime soon, not until, uh, September, October, maybe I, you know, I have, I do have the money now, but, uh, I'm not going snowboarding this summer. No. Uh, uh well, well, in the winter, obviously, yeah, in the winter time, no. I heard, I heard you did some sweet kick flips today, possibly. No, my kick flip no, years no are done, flips. dude. I'm sorry. Aww. My kick flip years are done. Aww. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a, a freestyle skater. Like I was back in seventy nine. Can't do that any longer. Man. I I just go it, but you know. I just skate in the skate park, you know, uh skate in the half pipe a little bit. If I hit the if I hit the coping, if I do an axle grind, I'm happy. And I call it a day. That, that, all that's right. all that that's that's as much skateboarding I do. Cause I don't I I'm, I'm no longer, you know, the badass I was before my near-death auto accident when I first turned 16. Okay? And and that that's, that's bottom line, how, how I look at uh, the sport in my eyes. Because I, I could never compete like I wanted to compete. Hey, Perry, I'm just going to cut in. I, 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 know, I never want to interrupt your calls. Number one, you hung up on me. I'm going to call you back. Number two, 10-second uh, warning with this skateboard talk. Get it out of your system for 10 seconds and then move on. <laughs> Go ahead. I don't know how I hung up on you, but uh, go ahead. Ten seconds are up. You can talk about anything else. No more skateboarding. All right. It's it's great for, great hearing or great uh, talking to you, my friend, and uh, you have a wonderful day, sir. You too, and I, I hope you don't blow any more guys, and I really love your shirt. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. You too. Bye. Sick bastard. Okay. Now. That's me. Hello. Yep, that's me. We're moving on. Okay. You sit there. Sit here. Just admit you screw little Perry on that Ben Franklin report. He is one last chance to pass history. Help him with some facts about Christopher Columbus. What? I, I was unable to read that, and it didn't come over the speakers very well. Because you weren't Can't paying attention. Oh, God. So, because I got another uh, picture in front of the fucking screen. Where yeah, I well, Perry, you, you, it's not a picture. It's the, it's the chat app. Now, you minimize the chat app when you're done with it. We're done with it, so just minimize it. Okay? I'm trying to streamline okay. a better system for this, but, you know... You, you... Yeah, I, I should have minimized that okay, photo. Okay. When... We'll, replay that one. we'll replay that one. Please replay it now. Mom's favorite children in order 1, Brian, 2, Amy, 3, Rochelle, 4, Race, 5, Kenny, 6, John, D, 7, Tony, B, 8, Rufus, 9, Miles, 10, Kyle, 11, through 86, what? Miles, and Friends, 87, Perry. My mother loved all of her children, Kenny, Brian, and myself. But she moved me out to Palm Springs so Brian wouldn't keep beating me up.
One, two, three, into the four. What's Perry gonna do when my gangsters show up at his door? Better start paying up, cuz. Bitch ass scary Perry. What the fuck are you talking about, knucklehead? Pay for what? Jesus. Well, I'm glad I'm not involved with the stupid drug addict bullshit again. Thank you. Hey, baby. These streams are so funny. I love a guy with a sense of humor. Just broke up with my boyfriend today. He never okay, wants that. Is this? That's so frustrating. <clears throat> well, give me the, give me your last name, Heather, in private, and then we can find out who you are. Well, not we, but I can find out who you are because I know several Heathers with big boobs. Several, not just one. The only one that I'm going to mention right now is Heather Locklear. That's it. Great stream again. From my calculations, you owe $787 from Friday's stream. I will talk to you about it on the way up to Sacramento tomorrow. See you. Listen to this fucking guy. Listen to this motherfucking guy. Can you believe this bullshit? You're not getting a fucking penny from me, you fucking loser. How do I owe you a fucking penny? I don't owe you shit. When I when I uh, left when when I separated my life from yours, that was it. Now you're trying to find a way into my life and to fucking use me to take you out for a bite to eat all the time. You use me to fucking feed you constantly. You use me to take you to the courthouse here in L.A. as well in the Northern California like a fucking nut. You use me every time you can get fucking me to ever get you to fucking go anywhere to get a bite to eat. That was it, and you and and okay for free. You helped me with my with my uh, two lawsuits. I won one and I lost the other one, the other one, the important one. Getting my fucking money back from my fucking brother, the lying fucking thief. Thanks for your loving memories of Blue Iris Perito, but you didn't answer me. How did the sex with her on stage happen and how was it forced? Don Barris said, come up on stage, turn around and close your eyes. Blue Iris came over and, and uh, grabbed... No, 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 wait. No, he says he's going to get some old porn star to... Uh, to uh, Said something about an old porn star. You want to see an old porn star? Blue Iris, of course, is the old porn star that came up, and then uh, I forget the the exact wording that was used. And then uh, they made me pull my pants down, and she started sucking my dick on stage. I was so insulted by that type of a blowjob. Somebody as ancient looking as this sucking my dick—it's disgusting. Literally disgusting. Now, Whitney's hair is now gray, blue gray, like blue irises. If she starts sucking my dick, the first brain, the first thought in my brain is, I got a forty-year younger blue iris giving me a blowjob. <laughs> if she, if if Whitney and I ever get that close, but I don't think so anymore. I think my relationship with her is more or less over. I truly hope Harry's mother is in Javaho heaven with the angels. There are rumors she is being chased through hell by Satan's blank. Some some bad word. Um, but uh, he, it's Bill Axe saying a nice thing uh, about your mom on Mother's Day. That's not... Why is he saying that uh, my mom's getting chased through hell? Based, saying that he's hoping that she's not. Oh, whatever. All I know is that uh, she's dead, she's dust, and uh, we have to move on. That's a really sweet sentiment for Mother's Day. That's nice. Well, okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll, all right. I'll be nice about it and say thank you.
Thank you for subscribing. Cops rushing by. Perry, if I can't move in with you, can I please live in your mom's Toyota? We'll sleep in the back seat and take dumps in the trunk. Please. No, thank you. Not gonna happen. Please my ass. No, I don't even want you to please my ass. No, there's no pleasing. Find your own way around. Perry, kudos for being responsible during COVID, but when are coming back to the Denny's bathroom? All of the guys miss your perfectly manicured hands. <sighs> I, I, I hardly ever use the Denny's restroom when I'm in Denny's. Uh, and, and now that things are starting to open up, meaning restaurants, um, who knows when I'm going to be going back to Denny's? Who knows? Whitney wants to come over in two weeks, but I already am lining up photo shoots just so she does not see you. Checkmate. Ha. Ha. You're a fucking ha. bastard. Ha, ha, Why ha. are you being such a ha. prick? Ha ha. Look, I will respect you if you respect me. Your mother should have swallowed your dad's load. Instead of letting you be born. Waste of life. And my pay pigs better start showing up to my streams. I've got over 750 people watching me right now. Close to 800, motherfucker. How many people do you have watching you? Yeah, uh, 750. Jealous loser. It's a you cousin Carlo, Carlo not Carlos. Get it right, you Sonoma bitch. You throw away that food while you family in Agata de Vida so hungry. Respect the cue. And Agata de Vida, honey. And we know when the dog is a Jew. And Agata de Vida, baby. And we know that I love is you. No, 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 no. Yeah, good song. Uh, Carlo, listen, I'm sorry. President Caravella, 100 hour weeks without a woman is hard. If you no longer care for Jenny or Halle Berry, can you kindly introduce loyal PLC Grunt? I love Jenny. I love Halle. Who's coming to my home first? Is it going to be Whitney? Is it going to be uh, Scarlett? Is it going to be Jenny? The girl that shows up at my front door first might be the girl that I'm going to marry second. Three girls. Again, Whitney Cummings, Scarlett Johansson, Jenny Garth. Those are the three. You got to get to my fucking front door first. Number one there might be the next wedding, might not be the next wedding proposal. Thank you. Babes, miss you. Show me how you will kiss my wet puke. Have your publicist contact my manager for a lunch date. Want to be inside of you. Kisses, hun. Hey, you heard that, Tom? Tom Brennan. Yeah, what would you like me to do? Contact her publicist. You're you're my publicist now. You need you to contact her manager. Uh, well, we've talked about set that. Up a date. I'm, not, I'm not really your publicist at this point. I think I'm a little. Well, you're you're more than a publicist. You're my business manager. You're you're my assistant. You're more than oh, just a publicist. I, I didn't I didn't know I was your assistant, but I guess technically I am. Yeah. Yeah, okay. technically you damn right you are. Uh, contact her people. Set up a date. Please. Pretty please. Thank you. I am so happy you brought Danny in your stream. He is the best lawyer. All of us died Zach maniacs can't wait for you to pay him hashtag tips for died Zach. Hashtag kisses for died Zach. Died Zach isn't getting shit. He's fucking a low life pile of dog shit and he doesn't do anything good for me. He's not even a real attorney anymore. He screwed up his life. He screwed up his fucking attorney. An attorney license, and then he thought he could represent me? And then fuck up my life? Fuck that. I want nothing to do with this guy.
terrifying Tem Skateboards wants to wish everyone a happy Mother's Day. Buy your mom a skateboard and get two off using promo code TimDonMoleBig3 EUEU. Well, first off, if terrifying Tim knows how to skateboard, let's see if he can go skateboarding anywhere on a sidewalk at a skateboard park. And if it's at a skateboard park, I want to see him on a skateboard at Pedlo Field when he wants to. I don't, I, I don't care when because the park's now open. It opens up at 1130 uh, during the week and I believe at 10 o'clock on the weekends. <clears throat> so show up, bitch. See what I notice your do. boyfriend Dimitri Moreland calls you Pear Bear. He really likes you. Do you have any cute pen nicknames for him? I don't even know the guy. But Dimitri Moreland, I can't stand. I have no pet names for him. Pet names. Perry, you are doing a great job tonight. Keep up the work and you will you. definitely marry Whitney Cummings. Well, if Whitney Cummings wants to have her name become Whitney Cummings Caravello, that might happen. That might happen. If not, then it'll be Jenny Garth Caravello or uh, um, Scarlett Johansson Caravello. We'll see what happens. But those are my three now. $25 to take your toilet seat off and wear it around your head like a necklace for the rest of the stream. No, because I don't have the tools to take off the toilet seat. Not going to fucking happen. <laughs> fucking Jesus Christ. <laughs> this guy thinks I'm a fucking... Show a current newspaper to prove this is a live stream because real Perry Caravello passed away from HIV AIDS complications on the toilet today. I'm not a newspaper reader. And, uh, um, uh, uh, uh what was it? What was her first name? Um, Scarlet Chambers? Or, or, or God damn it. Russell Chambers, dude, I, I, I'm very sorry about your mom passing, man. She was a very sweet young lady, and uh, I, I'm, I'm very sad that uh, your, your mother's no longer with us, okay? <sighs> Marilyn Chambers? I, I forget her first name. For the $200 PCL special auction you can win, move a night at Perry's on the couch together. Or one bath no. soak in his tub for 45 minutes with bubbles. That'll never fucking happen! You're not allowed in my apartment, period. Fuck. Mr. Perry Frank Caravello, a social worker, will be stopping by tomorrow between 9 a.m. and 7 p.m. to check on the welfare of your son, Little Jack Caravello. I don't have a son named Little Jack. Wackos. Never had a son named Little Jack. Nor did I ever accept adopting some child named Jack. Perry, it's West Most. I love the positive energy tonight. Happy Mother's hey. Day. I hope you spend time with your mom and daughter today. Your pal Wes. My mom passed in 2000... What year was it that she died? 2009 or 2011? Um, God, I forgot the year that my mom passed. Um, my daughter and I started talking about a year or two ago. Again, I, I, saw, I saw a photo of her with her husband and her child, and that's the last time that I uh, spoke with my daughter. I miss her. I love her. Happy Mother's Day, Christina. Uh, you know, and... and uh, and that's all I can say. But my mom has been gone for several years. Happy Mother's Day, Perry. Can you call your mom on stream and wish her Happy Mother's Day? Think it is the least you can do for stealing her credenza. She's no longer with us. And you're, you're not stealing my my. You're not stealing my.
bedroom dresser, which was at one time my mom's dresser, a.k.a. credenza. It's loaded with my clothes. Happy Mother's Day, you immoral, hate-filled, violent, spiteful, goose-grabbing man whom I consider a very, very close friend of mine. You and I are very close now. How? How? I, I don't even know who you are face-to-face. -face. I haven't been around anybody face-to-face -face in years. I, I say years with an S on it. Except for today when I went skateboarding. I saw some, some old school friends that I haven't seen in over a year. I'm glad you are finally trying to be straight, Perry. Please remember this means you can't suck dick of hand jabs for cash or a snowboard. Good luck. I've always been straight, but I don't have a problem with, with, with uh, anybody. I've always been straight, but I have no problem with anybody. Perry, Francis, Caragello, Don, is, God, Perry, Fairy, Liberant, Bo, Down, To, Don, Perry, F, R, A, N, C, I, S, do you need to see a copy of my birth certificate? I only have a photocopy of my birth certificate. It says Perry Frank F R A N K Caravello. Doesn't say Francis. Doesn't say LeBrant. It says Perry Frank F R A N K Caravello. Thank you. Good day. Thank you for subscribing. Can I kindly ask not only Perry but also Toombi and everyone watching to wish a happy Mother's Day to Michelle the Little Fridge? Hashtag Big Time Mom Fan. Hey. Happy Happy Mother's Day to Michelle and the, and the, uh, the Fridge as well as the Little Fridge. William Perry as well as the, uh, the, little, the, the other Little Fridge. <clears throat> happy Mother's Day, Michelle and Little Fridge. Yes. Happy Mother's Day. Thank you for subscribing. Perry people are really digging the streams. Please don't go skateboarding either. You are going to hurt yourself and you need to do these streams to E. Yes, sir. Today. It's too dark. Don't just yes him. Curtis makes a good point. Nobody wants to see you uh, get hurt. I'm not going to get hurt. Well. I'm inside a skate park. Yeah. Weren't you at a skate park when you broke your neck? What was that, eight years ago? Yeah. But what was I doing in the skate park to break my neck? Showing off. Oh, All right. It doesn't matter. Try, Perry, it can happen at any moment. Be, trying to be a fucking sar sarcastic show off, proving oh. my bearings are faster. Okay. Yeah, I proved that my bearings were faster getting five feet out of the bowl, but then I looked down and my board was gone. Whoops. Right, but Perry, but you, ha you, you, you basically, <laughs> you ba yeah, but you basically hurt yourself to a point where, you know, you weren't the <laughs> same as, again. yeah, yeah, it's not funny though, Perry, it, it, it really, it, it, it could have gone really <laughs> bad. Again, I'm not doing stupid shit any longer, Okay. Stupid shit. That was stupid shit. You can barely walk a straight line. Why would you get on a skateboard? Uh, so I don't fall off? We have recently heard from your lawyer, Mr. Dietzak. He is demanding a $15,000 finder's fee to do business. This is putting what a deal in jeopardy. Fuck? You guys got to fix that. You guys have got to fix that. Died Zach does not represent me. He. I have a contract with Brennan Entertainment, not with Dan Died Zach. That lying son of a bitch. He's not even a real legal attorney. 
any longer. A fucking crook. I want him blocked. I want him blocked and off my stream. <clears throat> Perry, it's Wes most. I'm tired of tomb slamming skateboarders. I wish you knew Gator better. Your wisdom could have saved him. Stay awesome, dude. Gator was a drug addict. I, I, I didn't need to know Gator better. I did not need, I was not interested in being friends with him. I, I, I didn't like his, uh, his drug antics. I didn't like his attitude towards people. Um, met him once, uh, but that was it. Uh, other than that, yeah, I, I didn't. I, I heard a lot of stories about him, uh, and I didn't like him at all. Hi, Perry. Great stream as always. Did you ever Thank think of changing your name when you got into show business? Caravello is Italian for talent was hack. <laughs> yeah, sure. Try again, scumbag. Talent was hack. Hey Perry, uh, no, it, I'm gonna I'm gonna give you another offer. This one is from a new fan. Uh, he says, uh, "I'd like you to me. do that because this is a first timer apparently." When you're done belching, sorry for belching. Okay, can you listen now? What's you go ahead? Okay, this guy's name is Dustin Hedberg, and he is offering. $25 for you to gyrate your hips in the hallway for six minutes in front of the blowjob bib painting. Blowjob bib painting. Not for six minutes. We can negotiate that down. Oh, we can negotiate that down. Let's do it for two minutes. So take the painting out in the hallway, and you just—you you know what gyrating your hips is like, you know, like Elvis did. Yeah, yeah. Can you just, can yeah. you do it right now to practice? Yeah, gyrate your hips. Yeah. Okay. So grab the painting and put it out in the hallway and gyrate in front of the painting for. Two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah, two minutes. I think is fair. Two. two. We said two. Uh, this phone goes here. Bring your phone with you. The uh, one you're on with me now. The one that I'm on with you, or the other phone? No, this one. The the other the not the non Samsung. This one. The non Samsung. The non every day. Okay. I said a one for the money, a two for the show. You can do that if you want. Three, you get ready to go back on it, don't you? Be on my blue suede shoes. Have you ever locked yourself out? Is that an actual concern? Oh, well, because of me. Being a nut for making sure I've got keys in my pocket. Okay, uh, I think the best way to do it is put the painting across the hall, across the hall, so we can see the painting. Just like lay, lay it there. Yeah, lay it there. That, that's good. Yeah, right there. Let me get the trusty uh, PCL timer. And start. You, you could sing, you could do whatever you want. Go ahead. Keep going. To the painting, mainly. To the painting. Let me go. 
I go right here? Nope, still going. Can I hold this? Or... You, I, I think you were better when it was down. I think it's better when you put it down. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna deduct thirty seconds from the belching and pausing. So keep going. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna add another ten seconds on from the belching. Keep going. Keep going. Can you gyrate in front of the camera, please? Leave the painting there and gyrate in front of the camera, in front of the ring cam. Like right. Come on, look at the camera. Look. That's not in front of the camera. That's not in front of the camera. Just come closer. Yeah, there you go. Can you stay still with your arms out? Stay still with your arms out. That's good. All right. Keep going. You got another 30 seconds of gyrating. To the painting. To the painting, please. To the painting. You, don't, you weren't get paid to do it. You're good. That was good. Oh, you got another delivery. Good. Let's open that. There's a lot of food in here, I think. Good, let's check it out. There's deli and restaurant. Hang on. No. What are you looking oh. for? Looking okay. for this. Okay. Ugh. Off. Wait. There. Okay. There's a lot of blade. Blade is sharp as shit. Do you really think that plastic bag required five cuts from a razor blade just to get it open? Yeah. Get it open right. I don't know what this is. There's two spoons, like soup spoons, and that's what's in here. I have no idea. Let's see, let's see. Uh, and if it's uh, chili or if it's soup, I will only have one spoon and I'll bring it over to the dining room table. I'm not eating the whole fucking thing. Uh, no, you're not bringing it to, fuck just leave it to the right. side, Perry. No, let's let's minimize trips to the dining room table. Can we? We got to see it first too. Again, let me get to it. Uh, come here. Shit. Oh. 
It looks like matzo ball soup. Okay. See what that that's is? Exa that's exactly what it is. Yeah, let's let's try it. It's a nice Sunday meal. Trying it, and I'm not. I'm not eating the whole thing right now. Bring that down. Is that the only thing that was in the bag? There was another, another bag with probably the same thing. Yeah. Well, we gotta try that too. Yeah. Again, if it's the same thing, why do I need to try it? Well, let's see if it is or not. I just have one spoon, and that's all I'm eating out of this one. Let me move it away because I don't need to eat the whole thing right now, okay? We're not taking a trip all the way to the dining room, Perry. You can leave it aside. That's the last trip you're doing with food. Everything else you're going to leave aside. I don't have any room to leave aside. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. It's just a tiny bag. Yes, you do. Fuck. Let's see what's in this one. On of napkins, thank you. Probably bring it over to Trevor next door. Shit. If he doesn't want soup that you've drunk, uh, taken it. And, and then I have. Uh, uh, vegetable soup here. Let's see it, Perry. This is all off camera, you know. We can't see it. Well, no, no, here. no tilting the camera. No tilting the camera. Put the camera back where it was. That's camera back where it was. That's camera back soup. where it was. I'm not, Do not bringing touch. the soup. Yes, you are. I'm not bringing yes, the you soup are. to the yes, camera because I'm not yes. spilling the soup. Just off lift it up the and show us. Table. That is it. That is now it. you have to adjust the camera. It. Now you have to adjust the camera because you ruined the shot. Turn it over. Stop. God, God, you get your fingers all over it. Leave it right there. Do not touch the camera again. And just lightly bring up the soup to the camera so we can see it. We didn't see it because when you take it down, it gets all blurry. We can't see it that way. The only way to see it is for you to lift it to the camera, not the camera to the food. Okay, a little closer, please. Can you tilt it? Can you tilt it down so we can see it? You have to tilt it slightly. We only see the brim. We don't see the actual soup. That's it. That's all you can see. Or else I'm going to spill it everywhere. Sorry. Very good. Very you good. Want to continue, you want to continue eating this one? Nope. Okay, nope. Just put it to the side. I will eat it later. Fine. It's very Put it to the, good, si put it to the side. Put it to the again, side. Again, again, okay. again, again. I thank whoever sent me these two soups. I'm very honored and very thankful. Very thankful. Okay? No, am I, am I going to eat them now? No, I'll eat them after the stream. Fine. But again, 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 no getting up and going to the dining room. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> what was that? Came from Frankie Weiler's. I know them guys. Came from Frankie Weiler's Deli and Restaurant. Yeah. Okay. On Victory. Over by my old house in Canoga Park. All right. Come here. Perry Baby Francis, what do you prefer to eat, fish sticks or ranchers? Skateboarding is for kids, you pedo. Well, why is it that there's still skateboarders my age and older than me that still skateboard? Ow, 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 ow! 
And, and excuse me, I guess the guys that still skateboard that are my age and a little older than me are the pros that I was friends with for the past fucking 40 years plus. 45 years plus, man. Perry and Randy celebrate Mother's Day. It is obvious which one gay. Perry hits Trevor with a wrench so Randy can fuck him sniffing that apartment stench. Yeah, sure. Next, please. Warning. Perry, I just received word that your two moderators in every state are actually employees of Phil. Perry, don't trust anyone. Especially not. That's a complete lie. Absolute complete lie. My moderators are very good people and they work very hard for me. And no, they have nothing to do with uh, dipshit Phil. Hey, Perry, it's Wes Most. What would you say to Dark Side Phil if he was at your door right now? I'm sending it to his personal computer. Hashtag I'm honored. Dipshit dark side Phil was at my door right now. What would I say to him? Well, what the fuck are you doing here, motherfucker? What are you doing here? I didn't invite you. Why are you here? What do you want? We're all glad you didn't listen to your bad thoughts when you were suicidal. We all love you. Your stream is the best all time. Thank, Thank you, Perry. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, those years were very hard for me. Very hard. Remember, I was in a near-death auto accident, so I had a lot of bad medication that I was on, and I was like this for 11 years, like this, back and forth, up and down. I, I, so I went through a lot of fucked up years for 11 years. But I'm glad I'm still alive. It's been a long time proclaimed your love and kiss RC again. I didn't. Whatever. Nothing more to say. Peter, wishing a very happy Mother's Day to the greatest Italian mom ever. She raised a very special and talented son. You're the best mom. I love you, hot Amy. Peter? Hot Amy? The Amy that I know that was hot went back to Wisconsin from uh, when I was in junior high school. That was a hot Amy. Yeah, I kind of miss that girl. She was a sweetheart. Did you see the cameo that Grimm's Toy Show gave to you? He'll donate $20 if you accept his challenge and cut a vicious promo on Grimm. I have no idea who that is, nor do I know what you're talking about. <clears throat> Thank you for subscribing. Super moms. Francis, my baby mama is a big fan. To celebrate Mother's Day, I want to make her an honest woman. Will you ask Leggy Maggie if she will marry me? Leggy Maggie? Well, where's Leggy Maggie? Leggy Maggie, please marry the horny dad, okay? And I'm not sure which Maggie this is, or again, you don't you don't know every name that you try to recognize doesn't work. It, it, not every name that comes up is somebody that you know. Dude, I, I there's a lot of people that I've met on this planet, oh, a lot, we, and I mean we a know. lot. We know. 
Hey, listen, the reason for my uh, interruption is, can you kick on that uh, O-lamp behind you? We, we're getting a little dark shift here. Okay. That guy. There we go. Hey, Francis, think you will use a Randy pillow tonight while you're watching on Porno Hub? I got Whitney behind me. My Whitney is right behind me, and I got my back saver right in my hand. This is my pillow from my chiropractor from years ago. And then I have Whitney right right there to keep me sitting up straight. I tune into your stream and the first thing I see is you kissing a pillow with Randy Callahan on it. I thought you were a man made for women. Jeez. I am a man made for women. I am most definitely a man made for women. But I'm doing a job. Glad you are doing better, Perry. Did you ever apologize to the Hog and Dodds for smearing shit on the walls with Richard Ramirez? I never knew Richard Ramirez back in those days, okay? Never knew that person. <coughs> and I never smeared shit on the walls. I heard of kids doing that in junior high school, and they got suspended. Okay? And I was not one of them. I was late. Why did you tell R.C. you loved him and kiss him? I thought he raped you. No man would tell his rapist that he loved him. Hashtag RC2, hashtag Randy last framed. I'm doing the job and it's not easy to get over, but I'm fucking getting over it. Again, I'm doing a job. Blah 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 Please stop talking about a pool party. It was a scam by Amy Liberant and I apologize. She scammed me and stole my credenza. Hashtag how dare you. She's a fucking, she's a fucking, she's a cunt. She's a filthy fucking cunt. That fucking whore. God. Sick bitch. Hey, Perry, let's get to another call, okay? I sent you a, a new number. It should be on that uh, that chat app. Right. Remember to minimize this when you're done with it. You see it? It's the second number on there. Hold on. Uh, the bottom number, yeah. The bottom number, yeah. Okay. Come on, guys. Let's go this way. Star six seven. Hello. Hello. Hey, Perry. Hey, thank you for uh, hey. being a subscriber, my What's friend. What's up? What's happening? Oh my god! I mean, I love you, dude. This thank you, like thank you, thank through. you. You're awesome. Dude. Who am I talking to, please? And where am I calling? Oh, I'm a huge fan. My wife is. My wife loves you. Excuse me, again, who am I speaking with? One and two, where right. am I calling? You're calling. I'm in New Orleans, dude. I'm in Kenner. Kenner, New Orleans, Louisiana. Very yeah. sweet to, very sweet to be down in New Orleans. And who am Have I speaking with? you ever been there? With? Never been to New Orleans yet. Really? Never been to New Orleans. I know the Mardi Gras is amazing down there. Oh, yeah, a lot of titties, dude. A lot of double Ds. Yeah, that's like it. These and these, right? Double D's, triple G's, all that good shit. Yeah. <clears throat> all right. Now, yeah. uh, who am I speaking with again? Ian. 
Hello? My, my wife is a huge fan. Your wife is a huge I fan? That's one thing. What is your name, please, sir? Ryan, but my wife's with me. <sighs> you understand? Again, I don't have your name. That's the problem. That's R-Y-A-N. Oh, Ryan. I Forgive me. Yeah. Ryan. Please. I, yeah. I'm sorry for being a jerk for keep asking your name. Because I, uh, no. I didn't come across. I don't, I, don't want, I don't want baby mode. So you're not getting baby mode. You're, you're getting you're getting the businessman. Very careful. Uh, uh, we're done with baby mode for now. Appreciate him. But hey, listen, I'm married. I got three kids. Thirty three kids, day. man. That's enough. Yeah. That's enough to feed a freaking army. Yeah, I know. But my wife it needs some like motherly advice because she respects you. Thank you. She Tell us a thank like, you. She, yeah. So can you kindly like talk to her and give her like, you know, motherly advice? Motherly advice or advice about being yeah. a mother? At whatever you want. You're the, you're the, you're the master. You're, you're the scare master. Okay. So. Well, what does she need? Her name's Mary. Mary? M A M A Yeah. M A one R or two R Y's. Okay. What? M A double R Y, Mary. Yeah. Yeah, and she got double D's. Beautiful. What what All what right, the, what go. kind of advice is she asking for me to give her? Hello. Hi Mary. How are you this evening, ma'am? I'm good. How are you, Perry? I'm honored to call you and your husband and uh I need to find out what your uh, advice is. No, I, you're supposed to give me advice. Okay, what kind of advice do you want me to give you? I don't know. That's what that's what Ryan said you were going you had some some parenting advice on how to be a mother. Uh, well, what what is the good thing or the bad thing that you're doing? I mean, I don't know what what the problem is. Well, I have three children. That's a problem. Uh-oh. <laughs> How old are your kids, honey? Six, four, and two. Oh boy, that that's that's a. I'm gonna say this. That is a huge job, a huge job. It is, and it's an honor. It it's an honor to to meet you, one, and it's an honor that you have three loving children. Um, I, I have I have one request for Mother's Day. Can, can you flip your microwave, please? I did that already. You did it already. I, I'm watching, and it looks like it's flipped. It's back. Yeah. Can you can you flip it back around? How much are you gonna pay me? How much am I gonna pay you? It's Mother's Day. It's supposed to be your gift to me. My gift to you, but you're not here. You're in Louisiana, honey. I'm on the phone and I'm watching. Oh fuck it! I'll be nice. I'll be nice. Oh, thank okay? you. Because you're a doll. You've got three loving children. And you've got a loving husband, and because I love you, okay? I love you. Okay. Thank you. Love you, you too, it. Perry. You got it. All right. All right. Nothing is going in the microwave. It's going to stay unplugged. Not plugging it in, that's all. I'm coming. Okay. Is that good enough? Uh good, thank you. You got it, girl. I appreciate it. <clears throat> Excuse me. You just made my day. Got it, girl. Hang on.
I almost threw up. It's water. Why, why did you almost throw up? I don't know. I had a, I had a back up in my stomach, and I almost threw up. So I had oh, to drink some water. Um, Excuse me. All right. Yeah. So how, how was your day so far today, sweetie? It's been great. It's been great. Just Good. hanging out. This just tops my night, though. That's all I got to say. And you have a fantastic sex life with your husband. I mean, if you got three kids, you must have a great sex life. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. That's not that's not the right answer to give. Not bad. Because that means, because <laughs> not bad to me sounds like you're just settling with him. Oh, you no, got to say definitely. he's the best. You got to say, he's, you got to he say is. he's the best. I love he him is. so much. He's given me three beautiful children, and I love him throughout and through. I mean, he keeps me coming back for more, so he must be doing something There it is. That's what I want to hear. That's what I want to hear. How many times a week do you guys make love? Oh, my goodness. Hello? Hello? Well, I mean, are you? Hey, Perry, I'm, I'm Ryan's back. Are you cuckolding? What? Yeah, I'm like watching. I mean, I can follow you up down here if you want to like have an experience. No, that's all right. I've got. You I sure? Yeah, I can't. I can't see what uh, what's on my screen. Hold on. Let me minimize this. Let me minimize that. There we go. Oh. Okay, now what were you saying, sir? Yeah, I'm just. No, I don't. I don't need to watch you make love to your wife. I'm not into that. I'm just wondering. I mean, uh, I watch you. If Len Johnson comes to, you know. If what? Yeah, if, if you and Linda get reunited, or Whitney, Whitney Cummings. Oh, Whitney! If Whitney doesn't marry her her uh, other guy, uh, her assistant, then I'm hoping she'll marry me. Hoping. I doubt if it's going to happen because uh, I don't know. I think she's in love with her uh, her assistant. So. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I mean, him and her are always together. So that that's why I I think my my uh, relationship with Whitney is more or less uh, out the window or yeah. out the door. It's just you know, kind it's of just what, being used Whitney? by Whitney. You know, it's her hair color or just like her giant penis. Like I can't figure out what's like. Worse to figure out. I don't know why she dyed her hair blue gray. I'm thinking she dyed her hair blue gray to look like blue iris. And she's gonna start wanting to suck my dick to look like look like uh, blue iris is giving me blowjob. I mean, yeah, that is a funny joke slash might be reality. But her other half, I mean, and I'm calling him her other half. That uh, more or less yeah. lives with her, that helps her out all the time. Um, <clears throat> I also know is her personal assistant. Uh, yeah. Didn't Blue Eye to your ass too? What? Didn't she lick your butthole? Blue Eyes. I don't remember. I don't all remember. Right. All right, it was just a BJ then, huh? I remember her going down on me. I, I, it's possible she might have licked my ass. But I don't remember. All right. Yeah, I kind of saw a picture, yeah, so I don't. It might, it might be, you know, you know, Don's a master of uh, computer graphs. So. Yeah, definitely, Don Barris is a master of p- computer graphing. One, and his yeah. uh, his uh, photo girl, uh, we all know who she is. I don't need to say yeah. her name, so we all know who she is. Uh, she's she's been the uh, the other side, but uh, listen. Listen, I, I got yeah. things to do. I got to get going, okay? All right, man. Hey, hey, it's been a pleasure to speak with you. And, like, I love the new attitude. Season two is great. And uh, tell Travis we love him. Who? Your neighbor. Oh, Trevor. Trevor. I'm Trevor, sorry. not yeah. Travis. Yeah, not Travis. Trevor. Trevor, they love you. Oh, oh. All right. All right. Thanks, Bye. sir. Bye. Yeah, that, that, that was a nice way of ending it, okay? Okay. Are we, doing, are we done with the phone calls or no? Oh, we're done for now. Yeah, we'll come back to it. Good. So I can turn that off. Oh, come here. Come here. Come here. It's Lance, your trainer. I tuned into DSP. Dark Side Devil? 
More like fat side fill. Pretty weak and beat his fat ass. Stream sheep for season 2. <coughs> Uh, DSP dipshit Phil is my is my slogan for that piece of garbage. Fat ass Phil's another thing we can call him, but that's F A that's F A P rather than D S P. So dipshit Phil is still D S P. He had a good run for seven years. Dark side Phil is so lame. He doesn't have satanic forces benefiting his show like yours. The dark side is here. Join Satan 666 and holy black magic. There's no dark side here. We're light side here. We're still, we're keeping things light. Light and easy. Like my uh, stomach. I need to eat things Barry, light you got a food delivery at your door if you don't mind getting Again? God. More crap to eat. I don't want to eat you anymore. Haven't even, you haven't even seen what it is yet. Jesus Christ. McDonald's. Christ. Excuse me, excuse me. While I'm while being up, can I move the move the other food over to the other table, please? Thank you. No. Just put it to Tough. the side. Putting it to the side means moving it to the other table. No, thank no, you. no. Put it to the side. Not do not get up. Do not get up. Right. To thank right you. Right to here. the side. Stay. I didn't get up. Ooh. All this fucking shit. Crap here, crap there. No mustard, no pi Add pickle. Nope. I'm not eating it. Can we see it, please? It's a fucking fish sandwich with added pickle. We can't see it. You can take the pickles off, obviously. Take the pickles da, 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 off. Da, 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 Just take da, da, them da, da, da. off. Just take them off. That's the mascot sandwich of Perry Caraville Alive. Be a little more respectful, please. Yeah, why would you call this the mascot sandwich? It's not a Carl's Jr. barbecue chicken sandwich. Nobody that cares about Carl's sandwich. Jr. Nobody no. cares about <laughs> Carl's Jr. No, no, oh, no, no, oh, oh, no, oh, you sound like a moron. Nobody cares about Carl's Jr. This is McDonald's. Yeah, I guess because McDonald's has been around since the 60s and Carl's didn't come around to what, the 70s or 80s? 70s. It's not a nationwide chain. It's not a national chain. Nobody knows about Carl's Jr. One bite. No, not one bite. That's the mascot sandwich of the channel. You're going to finish I'm it. I'm not eating the whole goddamn thing! We respect filet of fish It can be the mascot sandwich. I am full from what I had earlier. Okay, what today. about the sponsorship I, I'm trying to get? You know, you're I'm ruining it. I'm not eating and fucking throwing up, you son of a bitch! No, you don't have to throw up, but you can have a little bit more than one bite. And you can pretend that you like it. It's the mascot sandwich of Paracar of all life. Look. There's nothing wrong with with McDonald's filet of fish. I have no problem with McDonald's filet of fish, okay? Good. But so I'm down the hatch. Sandwich. I'm not finishing. I'm eating one more bite and that's it. Better be a really big bite. Have a fucking sandwich, you son of a bitch. You can get one more bite in. Coffee. 
Bora. You guys help me. I'll never lose weight a fight like this. If I keep eating like this, I'll never lose weight. What else did you get? Two sandwiches. That was it. Wait, there's two of them? Yes. Let's see the other one. See the second one. Here's let's the second thing. Well, let's see. You got to take at least a bite, Perry. Otherwise, it doesn't count. What the fuck is the matter with you? You sick son of a bitch. That's not appropriate. Don't talk to me like that. I'm trying to respect the cue. We're respecting the cue and we're taking a bite. Please. Bye. Thank you. Two. Done. You can have the coffee at least. For now. Somebody asked if you can scream outside. Uh, he already screamed into the uh, pillowcase. I've already screamed. Yeah, that's what I just said. No more screaming. Right, let me catch up on some uh, offers while you're in such a good mood. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Faster blade. Can you pay attention? Okay. Faster blade. What about faster blade? Fifteen dollars. Well, it, it was hard to read because it, it didn't give. Uh, <laughs> there's like two numbers, one for seconds and one for dollar amount. I was trying to figure out which was which. It's fifteen dollars. To do what? For you, for you to put pickles on your eyelids for thirty seconds. No way. That's super easy, dude. You don't have to. No eat way. It. That it, you don't have to eat it. It just goes on your eyes, Perry. And we we said we're gonna be a little more amenable to accepting offers and uh, the channel needs the revenue. So let's do this. F 15 bucks is 15 bucks. $15? Oh, it, $50. No, That's not 50. $50. No, not 50. How about 25? How about 25? 45. No, see you, you see Perry that's not a that's not a realistic leap from 15. $40 or forget no. about it. No. No, how about we put it out there for Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm just going to say if we get an offer for twenty five, you're gonna do it. I don't have that yet, but if if we get it, that that's that's a fair counter. Twenty five, fair counter. Pickles on my eyelids, and, yeah, and, and for, all that pickles for thirty do shit for thirty dry. seconds, and then you wipe it off. It's thirty that's seconds. Shit gets in your eyes. It would be no. Fucking, no way. First no, of all, McDonald's. No, 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 no. Yes, 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 yes. And McDonald's pickles, they, they're not even liquidy. They're dried out anyway. So there's no, nothing going to go in your eyes. I still get shit in my eyes. You can wipe it right out. Fucking yes, fucking way, Perry. We need the revenue and we're accepting more offers. Yes. And Perry, I don't have it in yet. So we're going to come back to it. I don't have it in yet. Okay, I don't have it. So we'll come back. To, oh, no, never mind. We I have it. We have it. Sorry. <laughs> He said, uh, he said he'd do it for 25. 25. Let's get two pickles. Come on. Two pickles. 30 seconds. It's not even like, it's not 30 minutes. It's not 30 minutes. It's 30 seconds. And I'll get the. Uh, the guys are not going to be open. They're going to be closed. Well, yeah, if they're on your eyelids, they have to be closed. Fucking stupid shit. I'm getting tired of this stupid, ridiculous crap. Oh, stop it. Ugh. A lot of people are entertained by this alleged stupid crap. That's one. Yeah, you're going to have to stay back like that to keep it on. Okay. When you move your... Okay, I'm going to start the timer. You're going to have to stop stay still. Stop fucking time, 10, 11... No, you're not the timer. You're not the timer. Stop. You're not the timer. You're not supposed to say anything. You're not the timer. I'm the timer. Don't call me names or I'll add another 30. Don't do that either, Perry. That's disrespectful. Okay? 
halfway there. You're good. We done? I said you're good. You can wipe your eyes. There you go. See? That was easy. Ugh. Now I gotta wash my face, you fucks. Uh, you don't have to do it now. You're good for now. I'll come back to the other offers in a little bit. We want you to star in the sequel to Old Yeller. It's called Old Yeller 2. Old Me Hour. You of course would play in the part of the cat killer. I'm not a cat killer! God damn! They weren't even my cats! <clears throat> Just paid a bill for a girlfriend! Fucking idiot of me. Talk about your psalms, talk about Javaho 316. Austin 316 says I am gonna whip your ass. Can I get a hell yeah? Hell no. You're not wiping my ass. Thought we thought we were polite to each other when we knew each other. Did you really know Stone Cold Steve Austin? I met him once. I just met him once. That was we didn't really know each other. We just met. Where'd you meet him? At the uh, the uh, the uh, um, Venice Venice. Uh, what, what the fuck do you call that? That uh, oh fuck. The gym on the beach. What's the name of that fucking gym? That's fine. That's good enough. You, you know what I'm talking about, though? Official poll. Press 1 if Perry is happy gay. Press 2 if Perry is cum guzzling gay. Hashtag tips for a tomb. Happy gay. Hey, Perry, it's OJ. Darkseid Phil is paying me to visit you on 12 12 21 and pick up the chair. Do you have a butcher knife I can borrow? What do you want to borrow? A butcher knife? You want to borrow a butcher knife? How about if I fucking put a butcher knife between your fucking eyeballs, motherfucker? Because you're not allowed here! You're not coming here! Kiss my motherfucking ass! Ow! Oh! Jag off. Perry, I need you to get in my time machine and take Randy to the past to replace her mother at the mechanics and save her. You should thank me for helping you now. I have no idea what you're talking about. Stop going down these fucking memory lanes of... Oh, God. <laughs> Oh, this is sick. Can we cut with the snorting, please? You've you've been an excessive amount tonight. Well, you know, if the weather would stop changing and fucking with my nose, just blow your nose if you have to. Stop snorting all the time. It's disgusting. <laughs> nah, no snots like the last time. Hey, Pear Bear, it's Dimitri. Do you have a swimsuit I can borrow for the pool party? Fuck Preferably you! Preferably unwashed. I have my own suit. I just want to smell yours. The fuck out of here, you fuck. As a happy gay man, we want you to promote our new rainbow pizza. The pickle no. and anchovy special. We sending 38 no. samples for you try. Phil recommended you. You're Domino's. You're a shitty pizza company. I don't promote you. 
your garbage pizza. I don't promote garbage pizza. I don't eat garbage pizza. It goes right in the garbage. Stupid fuck. Sir, why did you tell people that Dom died? Get it, Richie. I never told people Don died. And Don, who are you talking about? Don Rickles? Yeah, Don Rickles is dead. It's the only true Don that I know. Perry, here is that motherfucking money. Thank you for forgiving Randy and that was mighty big of you. What color was his comb? I bet it was thick and yellow. I don't know what... You're sick. It was white like everybody else's cum, stupid. Thick and yellow. Gross. With rainbow stripes in it, okay? Fucking weirdo. Hey, T-shirt Tucker motherfucker. I'll forgive you for being an asshole if you let me put on a strap on and fuck you in the ass. Layla! God damn, you're a fucking nutcase. You're not putting on no fucking strap on and fucking me in the ass. I haven't seen you in so many years, I, I even forget what you look like these days. Okay? Perry, don't go snowboarding. You should comb the desert instead. Why would I comb the desert? Comb the desert for empty empty pools to skateboard? Not interested. I don't live in Palm Springs anymore, so. Cat killer. Cat killer. You are a cat killer. You cat killer. I tie three knots in ritual. Hex. Hex. Again. Hex. Again. Hex. Bones. I'm going to say it one last time. I paid a bill for the girlfriend I was seeing at the time. Her cats were sick. She put them one in each box. Back of my truck. We drove to the fucking veterinarian off of uh, Western Avenue or Highland Avenue over there in Hollywood. Uh, the, the vet doctor said that they both need to be lied down because of the illness that they had. And uh, that was it. She, Linda cried on my shoulder, and she asked me for the money to pay the bill. I said, not a problem, because I had the money. Uh. Perry, it's Wes. When R.C. told the story to Heidi, why wasn't he remorseful? Why didn't he tell her it was rape? He bragged about it. Was it consensual? Why would it be consensual? Well, it was not honest, consensual. No, it was consensual. What the fuck are you talking about? Just to be fair, he asked you to do something. You said no. He gave you a counter offer, which is what you do on the stream when you get an offer. It's like somebody says, "Hey, here's uh, you know uh, ten dollars to uh, you know put uh, twelve dollars right, in your then microwave." All right, I guess so you're going to have to say it was consensual. So you said, I will not do what you're offering me. I counter offer you this, or he counter offered, and then you agreed. That is the definition of consensual. There's no rape there whatsoever. Fuck. But it was sexual assault. No, it wasn't. That's sexual assault still. No, not, not when somebody it agrees. Disgusting. You agreed to it. it you agreed. You offer. No, you agreed to his terms. That's not assault. Assault would be if he did it without warning and without even telling you and didn't even ask your permission. He did it the right way. He actually did it the right way. He asked you if this is something that so you'd be agreeable to. you get busted by the cops. Motherfucker. Look, you can have negative uh, connotations associated with him all you want, but he he was kind of a gentleman about it when you really think about it. He wasn't. He didn't assault you, and he didn't. Uh, he certainly didn't rape you. 
Whatever. And like I brought up last time, I don't know why you were there in the first place. This guy had no power over you. He wasn't even your boss. He was just a guy that got you one commercial job. And you go running over there like he's some authority figure. I would I would have hung up. up the I would have hung up the phone. Yeah, I would have hung up the phone. You know you know what I've discovered? Up, I'll tell you what I've discovered. And and I and actually this is a late discovery. This is within the past couple of months. You are my 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 whole doing of what he ordered me to do was my complete stupidity. Yeah, I was absolutely fucking stupid. He gave me one job I did. At the And that's the, it. The billboard ad. That's it. He's just a okay. he, he wasn't your you, you had no contract uh, with him. Right. So right. getting back to my point, this is a recent discovery of mine. Go ahead. You are very susceptible to suggestion very early in the morning. When you first wake up, if you hear from somebody, not necessarily me even, I just know from other people who have called you early, you know, uh, even – text me early. Even back when you were a witness – like you are, you allow yourself to get brainwashed very early in the morning before you fully wake up. So if somebody wakes you out of a dead sleep, uh, and even back then we're talking like thirty years ago now, and says, "Hey, you got to come to my office. So there's been a complaint about you." You don't even think about it. You probably just got your clothes on, boom, out the door, and you're right over there. And without processing it and being like, "Why am I driving over to an office of a guy?" That literally just got me some role in a commercial that I already shot and is already done and I'm moving on. I, I probably won't be using him again. Why are you then going to his office? He's not he – he has no authority over you whatsoever. Uh, no you, – you have no contractual agreement to be – Consider him your boss on any level, but yet you went there and then you did what he said. So anyway, getting back to the whole crust of it, it time. definitely wasn't rape and it definitely out, wasn't assault. Out, he said he was going to fuck my comedy career up because he, he said, said he that, knew all these comedy owners. He said that once you got to the office, not on the phone. You should right. have never went over there. Right. I should have never went over there. So you're right. I was stupid and susceptible to his his dumb fucking yeah, offer. Because if you would have if you would have just hung up the phone, what is he going to do? Nothing. You should have just hung up the phone. Right. right. No, you're you're absolutely correct. But see again, that was over thirty years ago. So I mean you did get your vouchers out of it, so there there's a plus. That that was that was the other good thing. I did get my vouchers out of it. Right. Yeah. I did get my my uh three sag vouchers out of him allowing me uh or allow for me allowing him to blow me and me jerk him off. <clears throat> I did get my vouchers out of that. Amazing performance as Randy earlier. Some of your finest acting. When Tom comes to stay, I assume I'll be taking him out for a fine steak meal on you. Oh, really? You're paying for it? Okay. If you pay for it. Uh, well, no, he's saying you're going to pay for it. I'm paying for it? I, I don't know where you're where we're. Well, how, where, where do you ask, want to go for a steak dinner? I mean, the Rainbow has a good steak meal. I was actually thinking about this. I was actually thinking about this, and uh, and by the way, if the moderators want to come out for this, if Scott wants to come out, if Hiroshima, if Joey wants to come out, they're invited as well. I thought that we can go to a really nice steak dinner to celebrate, you know, the success of Perry Caravello Live and, like, you know, treat, treat ourselves to a nice meal before we do the adult swim suit, shoot. All right. All right. I'm going to go to the very top of the steakhouse. Tell me, tell me what the... Lowry's. Lowry's. Okay. Is that the best one? R-Y on, on um, Restaurant Row on Fairfax. Is that where... Can you not Can you not touch that? I don't want to want to have it fall out of my ear. We all, we all know. But uh, so there's Lowry's. Lowry's is is that the, the best one in L.A.? That is the best steakhouse in town. Well, is it the most? Is it the most posh and expensive, or is it the best? Because I want the best. It's it's. I would say the best. Yeah. It is expensive as well, but I would say that they are the well, best. A good a good steakhouse is expensive, but yeah. uh, 
All right, we'll we'll look at that. I'll I, you know I I've been to the Rainbow Bar and Grill with Perry, so that that experience will not be a new one. But um, yeah, we I forgot. Did we have uh, uh, pizza there, or, or did I have my uh, Gina's Chinese you had, chicken you salad? You had your usual. You had your usual. I had my usual. My Gina's Chinese chicken salad. Uh, uh, blah, blah, blah. The Gina's. <laughs> Stop falling out of my ear. Hold on. Let me get it in there. I think I don't. I don't remember what I had. I had something. I maybe had a burger or something. Yeah, yeah. But I had my usual. And it was and it was okay. Juice. It was okay. It was like eating at the Hard Rack ca- Cafe or something. Okay. <laughs> Liz says I'm a snob. I think I, I'm a little bit of a snob when it comes to steakhouses. That's true. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll put some research I'll into it. I think... My my old my old um. Uh, one of my bosses, and I forget what we did. But my old telephone tech boss, that was it. My old telephone tech boss, uh, his name is, first name is Mark. He took me one night to Lowry's. He on a special oh, deal, you've been I guess. There. You've been there, so it's not that big of a deal. You've yes. been there. I've been to Lowry's once. That okay. was it. Lowry, now here's the cool thing about Lowry's, okay? Uh, it reminded me of going to the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland. Because you go into this one room with a ton of people. There's like, I don't know, 100 to 500 people standing in this room waiting before you go into the main restaurant. So just imagine if you're standing in this room with like 100 people and all the lights go out. And you hear a little child like at the Haunted Mansion at Disneyland scream. And then you hear a chandelier break. <laughs> okay, well, we're, we're getting away from the beaten path of the uh, topic, but maybe we can make it a mobile stream or something. We'll, we'll, I'll, I'll, I'll try to figure it out. And some, some, okay, and uh, while I'm talking about that, sometime maybe this week, I can't say when it's going to be, but I'd like to do a uh, test stream because I got I, I to gotta figure out how we're going to run the stream when I'm out there. And <laughs> I am going to have a new computer for Perry uh, that I'm still uh, throwing together, uh, and I might be able to remote into that and run it, or I'm going to see if I can do it from my laptop. So I'm going to try to stream uh, using my laptop uh, and you, Perry. So sometime this week, during the day, it could, it, 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 and I'm going to say it'll probably be mm, maybe tomorrow, Tuesday, or Thursday. It'll be on an off day. It'll be tomorrow, Tuesday, possibly Thursday. Uh, Perry will just pop on at one point during the day for 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 a little while while we uh, test it out because I, I I do want to do a beta test before I uh, fly out there and get some of the what, uh, a, a test of the new computer. No, not well that I'm going to have to do as well. But right now I want to test it from my laptop. Uh, oh, to see if to because I'm going to be portable, and then you know I'm also going to have to have a decent. Oh, you're right uh, here, right. Internet can. Uh, are you bringing? Are you bringing the new computer out with you, or are you flying it out first and then? When I'm going to ship here, it. We'll... I, I'm going to do it like I did the last one. I'm going to ship it out to where it arrives. It, it'll be they there uh, when I get there, and then I'll set okay. it up for you when I get there. Okay. So I'm look forward awesome. to it. And awesome. the other th- the other thing I want to say is the uh, I've teased this a lot, but the uh, tour video. I did of Perry's uh, apartment last year where Perry was a host and he took us around and everything in the apartment. Now it's going to be very different than it is now, but I'm going to put that on Patreon tomorrow, finally tomorrow. A lot of people have been asking me about that. So if you're not a Patreon member, uh, you can go to patreon.com slash Perry Caravello and you'll be able to see that video. And also um, it's where all the streams go uh, the very next day. Uh, this stream will be up tomorrow if you're a credenza level member. Anyway, that's it for the... Um, that's it for the Patreon plug. We'll get back. Okay, and another reminder, because of this computer not being able to do what I would like this computer to do. I know. Will the computer allow me to play CDs and DVDs? Yeah, Please I guess say so, yes. Perry. You, you know, most, most, most high-end yes. computers have done away with uh, Optical as Drive. Well, as well as show my pictures, because I've got discs in my disc holder I transferred I all those, those but, but those are all those are all on your hard drive. I transferred those last year. See now, you now when you get out here, you're gonna have to show me where to fucking see my okay. pictures because I, I can 
I can't they're even see computer. my pictures from. They're on. They're on your computer. Anyway, we're boring people. Let's get back to the uh, show. Uh, Stream. Sorry. Whatever. You love come. When it comes from a woman. When it comes from my woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When it comes from my girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jenny, Whitney, Scarlett, one of the three. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a mo to the miney to the meanie to the emi. Perry Caravella gay sex with Richard Heaney. Never in a zillion years. Sorry, poop dog. You think you're called Snoop? I call you poop because you're nothing but a piece of shit. Ow! Poop dog. Just admit you screw little Perry on that Ben Franklin report. He is one last chance to pass history. Help him with some facts about Christopher Columbus. What's the fact? Christopher Columbus uh, sailed sailed the uh, sailed from uh, what was it from Spain over to the uh, the other the other side of the world to prove that the world was round rather than flat. Found another uh, place to land and uh, discovered the uh, U.S. of A. Called it whatever he called it back then. I don't know if he called it America yet, but uh, he called it called it uh, whatever he called it way back in the 1400s, 1492. But he made it here. Dark side Phil and the hate army stand ready to decimate you and put you in the credenza. The 14th Battalion of the 88th Legion stands ready to strike. What a fucking loser. What a fucking loser. We got we to gotta dog this piece of shit and get him out of our lives. I wouldn't worry about it, Perry. Uh, let's get to another call for Subscriber Sunday. I sent you a new number. Oh, really? Yeah. Let's see what we Don't got Don't forget to minimize that after you're done. Right. 315, that new number? Yeah, why don't we give out the whole number so everybody can hear it? No. No, I just asked, just, if you want me to give out the whole number, I'll do that, but I'm not going to do that. No, I don't want you to give out somebody's um, number. Okay. Yep. Thank you. Hello, this is Charles. Hey, Charles, this is Perry Caravello live. How are you? How are you doing this evening, sir? Perry, oh my God! Here, hold on one second. I'm, I'm on the phone, please. Shut. Thank you. Sorry, Perry. Not a problem. How are you doing? I'm I'm watching the stream. You're uh, you're killing it tonight, man. You're thank absolutely you, killing it. Thank you, thank you. The story, the action, the excitement. I'm laughing. I'm thank crying. You. I'm having a great old time. <laughs> thank you, my 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 friend. You're doing good. You know, we we've met before. I don't I don't know if you if you know that we met uh, many years ago back at the uh, the what was it the the windy the windy wedding. Windy wedding at the comedy store. Yeah, that was a whole event. It's, uh, I'm actually glad you talk, called because I'm kind of uh, I'm I'm kind of in a bind. I don't know if you remember. As a fellow Italian, I gave you a, a spaghetti and meatball meal. It was a military MRE. I don't remember. That's fine. The point being, I'm sure it's somewhere in your place. Listen, I'm kind of in a bind. Um, those things, that's government property, technically. If I don't eat it or use it, I end up having to pay the government back, and it's kind of like an interest thing. Because I think it's been like five, six years. Those things are worth like $10. Now it's up to like three grand. Do you still have the thing? The spaghetti and meatball meal? Yeah, because... I ate that a long time ago. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, it's been eaten and done. Yum. Oh, my yum, God. Yum, yum, that was good. 
Oh, Perry, I got to give that back. If I didn't eat it, I owe the government like $3,000, man. They're going to come after me. Sorry, you were stupid enough to send it to me. It was, look, there was a, it was a nice meal. I ate it. Yum, good. Stupid. I handed it to you. I, I'm in trouble now. I owe the government three grand. Do you still have the oh. packaging of that? Because there's a GPS tracker in there. What? It's going to go. The government's going to come. The people from uh, up at my, at my base are going to come down and find whoever has that package. They're going to get the money from me or whoever else has Good it. They might night. be coming to you now. Uh, no. You're full of shit. Okay? Thank you. Bye. Barry, do you know how the military works? Yeah, I do know how the military works. Bye. Oh, well, then you explain it. I'm not taking his bullshit. Fucking crap. Trying to make it look like I'm a fucking idiot. Please. Okay, you shouldn't make a habit of hanging up on the military. Tough. I don't care if it's the... I don't care. Even if it was President Biden. Fuck him. Click. Harry, it's Wes Most. Someone put up flyers in Portland calling you cat killer. There was a phone number and website. I took them all down. Those demons. No, I'm not a cat killer. I don't know what the fuck you are talking about. I just paid a bill for my girlfriend at the time. Her cats were sick. They needed to be lied down. Period. Fucking A. Thank you for subscribing. Comb the desert. You hear me? Comb the desert. The only combing of the desert I'm going to do is show my face back in Palm Springs at my high school, where the skateboard park is, and skateboard there. Then I'm going to probably visit a couple other friends in the desert while I'm still there in the desert, and then go home. That is it. Okay, I still talk to a couple of old friends that I've been pff, my old my old uh, skateboarding teammate on on Bait Skateboards uh, skateboard team. I still talk to his uh, wife and uh, his daughter. So right, that's you know, enough. That's enough of the skateboard talk. Thank you. Jenny, hey, want to put her naked body inside a cage and whip rolls of pennies out of her body? You get to keep everything that hits you. It would make me so wet. Wait, 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 wait. Put who in what, what? What? What body are you talking about? Jenny, we're not killing anybody. Jenny, don't go down the road of uh, murdering somebody. No, 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 no. Jenny, if you want to be mine, be mine. But we're not talking about killing anybody or hurting anybody. Okay? Oh, brother. Introducing to the ring weighing 450 pounds the undisputed king of Twitch Perry Cat Killer Caravello and his manager Tommy the Brain Brennan. We're not canceling this stream at all. I'm not 450, Tom Brennan is not 450, but if you take two, two people that weigh 200 pounds, eh, maybe you could turn it into 450. But again, Tom hey, Brennan is not. Speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. I don't weigh two hundred. No. Uh, okay. Then then maybe three hundred pounds. You maybe you're a hundred pounds, and I'm two hundred pounds. Okay. There's three hundred pounds. Hey, Perry. My wife Mary is the best wife and mother of three kids. She loves your fatherly advice. Kindly wish her Thank a happy you. Mother's Day and kid advice. Happy Mother's Day, girlfriend. Be good. Be healthy. Be healthy. Be happy. Uh, love you. Love your husband. Love your kids. Be good. Be good to all of them. Perry, it's Wes Most. I don't want your credenza, but I do want to buy ad space on it. How much to advertise on two of the top drawers? Let's talk dollars. You're not putting anything on my dresser. Anything. Fucking. 
please send help. Daddy locked me in the credenza. Who the fuck is this fucking punk? Who is this fucking punk, little Jack Caravello? You're, I, I don't know a little Jack. I, I, I don't have any relationship with a little Jack. I never adopted a little Jack. I have a daughter in another state and a stepson next door. Mr. Cream Bello. She said yes. Thank you for offering your pool as a venue. We decided to get married at the Memorial Day pool party. Love you. Oh, well, 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 who, who's getting married at what pool party? There's no fucking pool party. God damn. Did you fucking stop trying to say, oh, I'm having a pool party. Stop saying that shit. If snowboarding twice makes you a snowboarder. Breaking your neck twice while skating makes you someone who gets hurt when skateboarding. No, I didn't it's break facts. my neck twice skateboarding, jag off. I broke my neck first time in an auto accident, didn't know about it for two years. Uh, and then I got my first neck surgery at uh, Eisenhower Hospital in Rancho Mirage. And then I broke my neck the second time. Yeah, what year was that when I broke my neck? 2009 or 2011? Uh, and I didn't know my neck was broke for two years. That was it. Again. But the, the thing that helped save my neck from the second neck brace, which was the other side of the first neck, first break, break because it broke C2 twice. The front side of the, the front side of the, uh, um, vertebrae and then the back side. So I broke this side in the car accident and then I broke this side skateboarding. The only way you can break your, your, your uh, uh, spinal cord vertebrae twice. Okay, like like Evil Knievel did on his motorcycle. You should marry Sherry O'Terry. Then you can change your name to Perry O'Terry. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'm not changing my name. It's Caravello. Perry Frank Caravello. Perry, I am representing Dark Side Phil now. How about we all get together and bury the hatchet? He gets the chair back and I get a ride in Freeland. Look at this fucking scam artist. Look at this motherfucking scam artist. You could represent dipshit Phil, the fucking loser. You're not an attorney. You've been disbarred. You don't have your fucking license back, you illegal fucking tramp of a fucking... Lying, thieving attorney. He represents dark side Phil. You mean dipshit Phil. Because he's nothing more than a dipshit. A fucking no good motherfucker. God damn. Perry, you've spent this whole stream claiming you're not gay yet you talk about Don Barry's blue eyes like you've masturbated to them before. No, I didn't. No, I did not. My daughter's blue eyes are way better looking than his blue eyes. It's funny. Hey, Jack. I must have been thinking about you at the same time. Because I saw your tweet. See you at the Memorial Day pool party from the website. Love. Sweetie. No, 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 no. No Memorial Day pool party. You, if you love me, girl, and if you respect me, honey, you will come to my home personally to talk to me in private. There's no pool party. Absolutely no pool party. You and I have known each other for, my God, for close to 40 years, if not longer. So, uh, thir no, 30 years, not 40. 30, th with 30 plus years um, from the strip clubs as well as the Rainbow Bar and Grill. So, uh, <clears throat> again, I take that 40 year back. It's 30 years we've known each other uh, so, no. You, you know my address like everybody else does. I'm assigning you to come to my home and we talk. Friends? Friends? Good? Okay? Thank you. Moving on. Hey, Perry, her door gym is open now. 
Love to do a night workout sesh with you. Let's get fit into SNF3 with hot babes. Uh, I, I'm, I'll work out with you, but I, I don't know about the, the hot babe stuff. That, that would be nice. Um, hmm. That would be nice. Yeah, I can allow one guest with me in the gym. I'll be polite. I've not seen any official bids yet. I'll bid $300 on the bubble bath with Perry. And I'll bid $350 for movie night on the couch. Hashtag Steel Magnolias. Neither of those are up for auction. Speaking of auction, we're going to get to uh, some items that are going to be up for auction uh, in a little bit. Oops. Perry's mother was a saint. A fucking Saint Bernard. That old battle axe looked like a hound and preferred doggy style baby. Axes, but uh, get, get rid of him. Get rid of him. Saint Bernard, you fucking asshole. My mom was a loving woman. Block Bill Axe right now. We're done. Call my mama St. Bernard, you fucking asshole. Try to think you're fucking funny by calling my mama fucking dog, you fucking cocksucker. Get the fuck off my fucking stream ever again. I don't ever want to see your name on my stream ever again. That is what gets rid of people. Disrespecting my fucking parents. My mom, she loved me. To I love Westmost and John Diaper. $50 tip for them. I hope they take over her show after her plane is shot down over the Sea of Japan on December 12th, 2021. What? If you're sending 50 bucks, it's not going to those two assholes, it goes to me. You fucking low-life pile of dog shit. Now, talking about shit, I need to take a shit. Do you mind if I take a break and take a shit? Can you hold it for a little bit? I'll try. Thank you. By the way, uh, I just uh, got an update from Scott. Uh, you know, Dark Side Phil is uh, streaming right now. Okay. Uh, Does he have, uh, let's see here. Does he have over 700 people on his fucking stream? Not or is he close. crying? You're beating him easily by about 350 views right now. Easily. Handily beating him. <laughs> Handily. See, You're he's a him. loser, and he's crying for his... Well, all these, I'm just saying, I think, I think your attitude is working, you know, that the no baby mode. You're beating him on Twitch alone by well over 100 viewers. That's just on Twitch. Combined with YouTube, you're beating him clear away by uh, 350. He's got Jesus. 329 people watching right now. 329. Oh, and wait. getting smaller. Getting smaller. It's going to soon become like Don Barris's stupid stream. 20 people, maybe. <laughs> well, you don't have to be mean-spirited. I'm just saying you're beating Phil. I'm just being honest. I'm just being honest. I'm not being mean-spirited. I'm just being honest. Rest in peace, Julia Caravello. Perry paid for his mother to be laid down and turned to dust just because she shit in Linda Johnson's bathtub. Don't say that, you sick bastard. That's disgusting. You fucking psychopath. Ugh, that's gross. Ugh. Hey, deuce, my man Randy is now taken. Stop sending him cock pics and I saw his laptop. Nothing but pics of you naked. You're disgusting. Sick bastard disgusting. And the only reason why he's got my pictures on his laptop naked is because he took one and repeatedly made copies of it over and over and over again. Sick bastard. Perry, the symmetry of your eyebrows and new under eye circles is tantalizing. What's up with those anyway? It's called getting old. That's what's up.
Justin said to hey, mention me. When did we have a threesome? Those days are over for me. Conversion yeah. therapy worked wonders. I'll send you the details. Well, uh, what happened at that film set was not the right thing for me to do. I was rude to you, Steve. Uh, you're a very nice guy, and I'm glad we settled it the way we did. And, uh, again, I was very rude to you on that film set, and forgive me for being an asshole on that film set. But you're a very nice guy, and I apologize again for being such a dick on that film set. Okay? I'm okay, sorry. You get a delivery if you want to go get that. Just a delivery or an asshole at my door. Hello? There's, there's nobody at the door. What? Fucking kidding me? Any of this, you know. Let's see what yeah. it is before you start this, complaining. Yeah. Gotta go pee again, so let me use the bathroom. Okay. This is a. Uh, pee break since I'm on my feet. Wow, well, it's a delivery pee break. It's a different. It's like you feel like since you're at the door, you can jet into pee. But okay, pee, pee only. I'm taking a shit. I'm taking a shit, but I don't have No, no, no. Pee. 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 You have, you have permission for pee. Not, not, not the other one. Pee. I'm clear. What happened to you wearing those diapers? I don't like diapers. Hmm. Yeah, diapers. I don't even like underwear. That's it. That's a fact. Came in my ass. My underwear. Your shorts. First your shorts, then your underwear. Pain in the butt. And I got this and this. Whoa. Oh, God. Let's see what we got. I'm moving this garbage out the door because it's trash. No, not out the door. You can just leave it right there and then move it out later. Trash. <laughs> yeah, fine. Later. Later it can be trash. Not now. Just put it right there. Put it right to the side. Trash. Trash. Fucking trash. Okay. You don't need to keep saying the word trash. We get it. Let's trash. Let's get to the bags. Let's get to the bags. Well, I'm getting here first. I got a sandwich here, rolled up, uh, secure tamper, oh, something in here, uh, looks like a Red Bull edition, and a straw, uh, the Red Edition, Red Bull, I've never heard of this one before. Okay, there's a Red Bull with a straw. I'll set the straw behind that. This bag. Throw that away. Let's get the knife. So I can cut into this to open the pizza. I probably shit pizza, knowing, knowing everybody that's trying to fuck me. Fuck me up here. Oh, damn it. Don't you think that's a better job for scissors? No. And it's an anchovy special. You look what what else is on that? That looks anchovies and tomatoes. I mean it looks horrible, but uh just take a quick bite. Because it's not dominoes. That's it. You only get one bite, and that's it. That's all I'm asking for. That over there. While I'm standing, because this is going off to the side. Okay? Yeah, go ahead. Just, just do, it in, do it on frame. Very good.
Yeah. Oh, it? it looks pretty awful, I will say. Yeah. Even by West Coast standards. Yeah. All right, let's move on to the other bag. Oh. Steakhouse. I'm throwing away this pillowcase. No, you're not. We're going to auction it off. You're not throwing it away. You're going to put it back on the cat. Put it back on. Put it on that chair with all the other auction stuff. Burning the pillowcase. Nope, you're not. Let's see what's in the steakhouse bag. Ah, look at this. Massive meal. Wow. Let's take a look at it. Wow. Look at this. Someone sent me a huge steak. Well, let's see it. Bake. Well, hang on. Uh, oh, wow. Steak. Baked potato. Wow. There we go. Shop uh, packs. I um, love that. The, the, the greens. Wow, thank you, thank you, thank you, okay. whoever don't, sent don't, this. Don't dig in just yet. I have a feeling there might be a shop vac offer. Keep going. What, what else is in the bag? that out of there. Are you crazy? No way. That gets eaten. Did you have that another bag? Eat. Did you have another bag? No. Better get that offering quick, anybody who uh, wants to see that. That gets eaten. Shop back, please. This gets eaten while I'm sitting here. Let's see how this piece of meat tastes. While you're sitting there, uh, I'm going to go through some other offers. Um, Westmost offers $30 to do the whole pillowcase uh, over the head thing telling Heidi again. But this time, you stress the consensual act that it was and how you negotiated. I think you can do that. Not now. Not now. After you eat. Well, we, that's an accepted offer. We'll do that. Yeah, after okay. I eat. Okay. Let me see what else. How is it? Can we see it? I want to see how it's cooked. Medium. Can it's I cold. see it, please? Hold on. Why don't you Medium it up in the mic? You got a you got a microwave right there. Why don't you use it? Nah. Can I see no. the steak, please? No, I want to see it cut into. I want to see what it looks like. Well, then that means I got to tip the camera down. I'm not tipping the camera anymore. No, there's no tipping the camera, Perry. You cut a piece and you show it to the camera. It's not that difficult. Oh, that's all. No, not a problem then. Hold on. Yeah, so, so what are you bitching about? Um, why are you complaining? I thought you wanted me to tip the camera down. That's why I did the remark. That's Never once something. in the history of this stream have I asked you to tip the camera. And whenever you attempt to do it, I say, no, don't do it. So I don't know why you would think that. Oh, because I'm stupid. Damn, dumb, dumb, uh, dude. Well, you said it, not me. How long is it going to take to cut this piece of steak to show it to the camera? I'm putting butter on the pig potato right now, okay? No, stop what you're doing with the potato and show us the steak right now. All right. Hang on. There's a good chunk. How does that look? Does that look good? 
a little closer. Let me see. Jesus. Oh, that's cooked. That's well done. Ugh. That, that's well done. Ew. Um, medium, listen, before you, before well. you take a bite, before you take a bite, Here. Uh, I, I, I have to I, I have to bring this up. Uh, you, you've Here. been offered. Oh, that's better. That's better. Okay, put it down. Put it down, uh, Perry. Before you take a bite, no, don't take a bite. Take it out of your mouth, real quick. Real quick. Pay attention. Go ahead. Fifty dollars for you to shop back the steak. No fucking. Right Way! 50 bucks to shop back the steak and the potato, the whole thing. No! Fucking way! This costs 50 bucks to even buy! Okay. I'm not throwing that money away. W I'm hungry. What? I want to eat it. W wait, wait, wait. Wait, before you... before okay, Perry, you're, you're taking money... You're literally taking money off the table now. What's, what's a price where you would do it for? What is the price you would do it for? Hundred bucks. Hundred. Okay, then you got to stop eating right now. I got to see if we get that. You got to stop eating. You can't. Okay, eat the vegetables, but you can't eat any more steak. So if I get a hundred dollars, if I get a hundred dollars, it's gonna be shop fact. No more steak eating until I get an answer. I'll give you. I'll give. Uh, I'll give that three minutes to come in if I get an answer about. I gotta the, cut uh, up the. I gotta cut up the steak for it to be vacuumed. They can't vacuum it up like this. Well, it's a shop fact. You don't vacuum the steak like this. Shop back or no shop back. Okay, I got another offer. Stop stuffing your face while I, I go through this. Okay, this is one you can do, regardless if it goes in the shop vac or not. Uh, this is from Astral Bunny. $20 to microwave the steak for five minutes. That's very doable. That's 20 bucks. Okay. Let me get a paper plate. No, it's in a microwave safe dish the way it is. You don't need a plate. This Put is it... not a microwave safe yes, dish. It is. A yes, it is. Yes, it is. All of those things are microwave safe. It's microwave safe. All these takeout containers are microwave safe. There's no plate transfer. Just put it in there. Five minutes. Ah! Hey, no baby mode. So are you, are you accepting that? It's $20 for five minutes. Are you accepting that? No. I'm just moving this shit off of this thing so I can move this back over there. Okay, so what's, so what's the deal? Are you accepting it or not? I said not for five minutes. Two minutes. Two minutes... For twenty dollars, well, I'll see. I'll see if they want to uh, negotiate. Okay, two minutes. Two minutes is your offer. I'll see. I don't seem to be getting that uh, shop vac uh, money. It's not gonna happen in the shop vacuum. No fucking way. Wait, I turned it around. Stupid! You turn the microwave around! That's fine. Just plug it in. I didn't get the confirmation on the two minutes, though, so wait. The fucking microwave smells like that goddamn t-shirt. Son yeah. of a bitch. Ugh. I didn't get confirmation on the two minutes, so don't don't nuke it yet. You might be doing it for nothing. No, it's not gonna happen then. Okay, well I'm getting confirmation. That's what I'm telling you. It's not happening. Fuck them. Two minutes or fuck them. No, I think two. How about okay? So the donator is saying four. Why don't we reach I an said agreement? Two minutes. How about three minutes and thirty seconds? I think that's fair. Three thirty. That's only a minute thirty more than you would want. I think that's fair. I think it's a fair compromise. Three Fuck minutes and thirty seconds. Three minutes and thirty seconds. I think is fair. And I'm still working on that shop fact. We might have that too, but we're not doing nothing with the 
shop at? Well, no, you said a hundred dollars. If I get a hundred dollars for it, you're doing it. Three minutes zero. Yeah. That's it. Three That's minutes thirty seconds. I'm op authorizing this compromise. Okay. It's fine. Pain in my motherfucking ass. Okay, and also Westmost has his uh, donation in for the uh, pillow case thing, but we'll do that after the steak. Oh, what? Light the pillow case on fire outside? No, nobody wants to see that. That's going to happen with me. Oh. Garbage. Dumb son of a bitch. Are you looking forward to this steak? It'll be too fucking hot. I think. We'll see, though. Well, that's kind of what you want, right? A hot steak? Not too hot. Faster Blade is offering $4 to put the pillowcase on your head and set it on fire. Him. Yeah, that might be a Fucking little dangerous. Asshole. Yeah. Okay. We're just passing it along. How much time we got left on the microwave? One twenty, a minute and twenty. Where is this steak from, by the way? Does it say? The bag. Yeah. Black Angus, one of the best. Oh, Black steak Angus. Here yeah, in the you like that one. You like Black that one. Angus Steakhouse. I love that place. Um. Lucy Sushi uh, is offering $10 for you to slide the pizza under your couch for the rest of the stream. Fuck you. Pizza's destroyed. Pizza's gone. No, it's not. It's still there. It's in the trash. It's gone. You can take it out of the trash. It's in the garbage. You are done. What was it? What's in that foil? Bun. Bun. I didn't see it at all. You just showed foil. I, I, you know. A bun. Okay, there we go. That looks nice. Maybe we can go to Black Angus. I've never been to Black Angus. They're a real good steakhouse. Well, You'll like them. Yeah. They're like an outback, right? Uh, yeah. All right. Looks like she's ready. This is plastic I don't like it. All right, let's get the thing out first. Let's see. Let's see how it looks. It's fucking hot. Well, yeah. 3 3 minutes and 30 seconds will do that to a steak. Let's see, let's just take off the top and see what it looks like. Oh, well, people are saying Black Angus is uh, really good. Ooh, let's see it. Okay. Too hot for my lips. Too hot for my lips. Well, that's uh, good news for you, Perry, because the $100 is in, so get the shop vac. I put the uh, silverware no, down. Oh, no, it's not good news for me, because I'm not vacuuming up the steak. You, you are, Perry, because you said, you said you'd do it for $100, and we got the $100 together. The, you know, uh, Joey, and uh, the moderator, hustled his ass off to get that together, so you are doing it. 
So get the shot back, please. Cut the, I gotta cut the steak up. Well, do it. Let's do it in the moment. Let's do it in the moment. I gotta cut it up if you want me to vacuum this up. Yeah, but you can get the shop vac first. Cutting it now. Harry, is this a shop vac or is this a shop vac? It's supposed. It should get it it's in one a go. Shop vac. I gotta cut the steak. Get no, it off. no, no cutting. No cutting. That's not part of the deal. Just a shop vac should be able to take care of this. No problem. It's a shop vac. You brag about the shop vac. It can take care of the, it. Can, it can handle a steak. Let's go. Get it. Normally this is our closer, but we're gonna do it now. Come on, let's get it. You're a bastard. Fucking bastard. You can put the silver away, you won't be using that. Yeah, and I'm not gonna be able to eat my fucking steak. I'll get you a steak tomorrow. Just get the shop vac, please. Now remember, this has to be done on camera. We have to see it. So you gotta hold it up to the camera. And the potato too, everyone. Cut my ass. That thing took it down. You didn't need to cut a thing. Done! Why do you think you needed to cut it? That thing annihilated because it, it. Because it went in there better cut. No, it was fine. It was all whole. It was fine. There's some residual stuff in the hose. I like that too. Yeah. Good. Good job. Great. Everybody loves the shop fact. I mean, I think the shop vac has to come out every stream now. I mean, it's just a perennial favorite. Oh, oh shit. Ugh. I don't know what we're going to do for a closer now because we kind of did That, that is the closer! No, it, it usually is, but we did it early tonight. Okay, <laughs> come on back. Can I throw up? No, you can't throw up. Sit down, please. No. Sit what down, please. No, ba no baby you? mode. No baby mode. Sit down, what please. No, you? those things. Move those things to the side. Move those things to the side. Come on and sit down. Can't argue. Shit. No. No baby mode. Very good. Good All job. Right. Here's, 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 here's the offer. Jenny, uh, uh, yeah. God, I'm forgetting people. All right, doesn't matter. Uh, Jenny, Let's move on. Let's move on Jenny, to. Girl, okay. Come over. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Uh, let's move on to Bla um, Westmos's offer, okay? Who's Westmos? Well, he, I never you heard of know, him before. You shouldn't. Yes, you have. He's on every stream. How are you? Yes, you, you Who is he? It doesn't matter. You, let, let's let's get is. to let, let's get the pillowcase. What now? Get the pillowcase, please. What now? Okay. Well, the story you told earlier, where you're basically okay, it's basically the same thing you did earlier. Where you're putting it over your head and you're telling Heidi the story as if you're Randy. However, the only I difference. I already did that! God damn it! I already fucking did that! Okay, Perry, if you stop screaming, uh, I brought this up just a little while ago. I said there's a slight difference this time. It's not the same one. Uh, you're gonna tell the story to Heidi as Randy, but you're gonna stress the consensual act and how well 
Perry negotiated, like basically telling it true to life, how it was a negotiation. And this is for an additional 30. So it's a separate, uh, it's a separate thing. So let's just. This is the last time I'm yes. ever going to talk about this fucking matter again. Agreed. Okay. So put the pillowcase over your head, please. God damn. I'm done. I'm, I'm done discussing. Okay, this, but this the, the quick, the quick, shit. the quicker you do it, the quicker it's over. It's fucking shit. I don't like this any more than you do. Trust me. Yeah, bullshit. Like I like the. Bas- ch- no, I'm not lying, and I'm not a bastard. Okay, pull it down yeah. a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Now you got to be genuine. You got to be genuine here. Okay. You're Randy talking to Heidi about what just happened, and you're stressing the fact that it was consensual and that you, as P- Perry, negotiated, okay? Go. Heidi, you won't believe what happened. Heidi, 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 you will not believe what I just went through in my office. Wow. That Perry Caravello guy, boy. Yeah, he, he, he's a strong negotiator. When I when I told him the, that I would fire him, that I couldn't fire him, that I had to, uh, that, that 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 he had to, uh, that I had to make sure that uh, I sucked his dick or that he sucked mine, and he didn't want me to, he wouldn't he wouldn't suck my dick, so I made sure that I sucked him, and, and then he jerked me off. We renegotiated that. I would suck his dick, and then he would jerk me off. I know he was disgusted by it. You can just see on his face he was disgusted by it. But fuck him. Fuck him. Fuck him. It was consensual. If he didn't like it, that's his fucking problem. But he got another job out of it. Fucking punk. I sucked him down like a milkshake. That piece of shit. I did my job and he did his job. Why are you telling me these things? That's Heidi. Why are you telling me these things? Heidi. Heidi's my sick. Well, yeah, Heidi was her secretary. Was the secretary at the time. And uh, she needs to know about this. This sick bastard. Fucking prick. Done. You kind of lost it at the end there, calling them names, but we'll accept it. Well well done. Good job. I gotta put this fucking thing back on my head. Why can't I put this fucking thing back on my head? No, 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 no. no. We don't, we don't want that. We want the buffer. You don't like a good clean head. The head's clean. I no, clean well, let's wait till we get the new fedoras in. Let's just. This is the KFC buckets at placeholder until we get a, the new. Uh... Ugh. All right, we'll move on. Why don't you act professional for one stream, you ungrateful pervert? Hashtag Tom is a saint. Has period as dudes for the juice. I am very professional, you fucking low good, no good motherfucker. Should we block you too, you piece of dog shit? No, we're not blocking Curtis, and that's no way to talk to him. I will agree, though. You, 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 you've been, you've been a lot better. I'd say the past week, really solid week, without any uh, real problems. So you've been doing a good. You've been doing yeah, a great three job. streams. You got you got three rave reviews for Friday. Great. You got rave reviews for Friday. Everybody was talking. Oh, good. About it. Good. Okay, nice. Thank you, subscriber. Thank you, thank you for subscribing. Perry, today would be a good day to call and apologize to Tom B's mom. You were horrible to her. And she was right about you being in a cult. That was years ago. God, fucking A. 
That was years ago. Yes, I did apologize to her. All these fucking ridiculous, stupid remarks. Things that go back fucking 30 years. Uh, it wasn't 30 years. It was more like three years. Okay, th- 33 years. All right. Perry, I bet you 1,000 bucks I can get you to bet me by the end of the stream. Do you want to take that bet? Why would I be betting him a thousand dollars? Uh, what? Like you think you're gonna take my stream away from me by the end of my stream? No, you're not taking my stream away, you prick. George Wallace George! here. L L L L L L L. Shout out to all my favorite tells. Camino Segundo Dorito and especially Pollo Loco and whatnot. Hashtag L L L L L. That's cute. I love it, George. Oh! A pollo loco! A torito! El George! Hey, here. It's her cousin Oliver. Haven't seen you since Palm Springs when you would go by Perry LeBrant. Looking forward to joining you at Show 2 Boost Ratings. Never went by Perry LeBrant. It was always Perry Caravello. Again, Perry. F. Caravello. F stands for Frank. We're far out! Tom, you make dreams come true. Thank you for the credenza tier on Patreon. Now I can always be up to date on the streams. Hashtag tips for tomb. Very good. Very good. Thanks, Tony. Very You're good. You're welcome, Tony. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Thank you for all the uh, credenza level uh, Patreon members who uh, can get to see the streams within 24 hours. Very good. And uh, if you want to be one of them, you just go to peri- patreon.com slash Perry Caravello. And thank you for all the Patreon mm-hmm. members. That really helps out. And we try to get as much content uh, as possible in there. And tomorrow, uh, you're going to get that apartment tour video, as promised. You're not coming to my apartment tomorrow? Well, next month, I will be coming. And we'll maybe we'll do a follow-up uh, tour. But uh, yeah. the one I did last year. What you talking about, fool? Hey, Parvati, give me a stare. That's the same look you make as you enter my ass. Before the Memorial Day wedding, I want us to hook up one last time. Parvati? Okay, Perry, you should have another phone number. Let's get to, uh, let's get to another call. I should have another phone number? Well... In the, yeah, in the uh, chat box. Let's see what we got here. The okay. Last the last phone call? The la- Well, no. It's the last number on that list. It's not the last phone call. And the last phone number here. Last phone number. Last phone call. Fuck. Go to phone. There we go. Phone. And and while, my... while you're doing that, you have an offer from Wes Most to, for $35 to call him. Since you don't know who he is, this will be a get to know you call. Maybe later. No, not maybe. We're going to accept that. West, that's, that's an accepted offer. Hello. Hello. Thank you for subscribing hey, to Perry Caravelle Live. I think it is. Exactly. How's it going, man? Who is this, man? Uh, this is Terry Clifford. How are you doing? Terry Clifford. How are you, my friend? What city and state am I'm I calling? I'm good. What city and state? Oh, I'm, I'm in, I, well, I'm just outside of Salt Lake City, Utah. Oh, very nice. Very nice. Yeah. yeah I really uh, nice visited town. a couple of uh, girlfriends out there uh, a few years ago um, for a 24-hour party. It was so cool. They flew me out to oh, visit you- them. And then uh, one of the girls took me with her to the airport to pick up her brother, who was a huge fan of mine. And uh, it was a very nice day. Very nice, you know, little house party and stuff. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you do some coke? No, I don't do that shit. I haven't done that shit since since uh, the new millennium. 
Well, I'm just, I'm just curious because 24 hours seems like a long time to party. So that's good. I'm glad you didn't do any coke. I don't know where you'd find it here anyway. So, but I, why are you I asking? I, why are you asking if I would be doing coke? I'm just making. I'm just. I admire your sobriety, Perry. Thank I you. wanted to make sure that you were staying on top of that. Thank you. Thank you. I'm very. Right. There's no reason. It was a compliment. Thank you. All right. Yeah, anyway, I wanted to. Uh, I wanted to say something because I owe you an apology. Okay. Then. Now I'd like you. I'd like you to listen to the apology before you yell at me. All right. Let's I see. I accidentally sent you some pictures of transgender women on Instagram. Uh, I was trying to warn you that they are transgender, but you went off about how you love them and how they were going to be your wives. No, I didn't. So I. No, well, you can you can check the messages. I mean, you blocked me, but you did say that there were a couple on there that you wanted his wife. I don't so, remember that. Yeah. Okay, well, I mean, that's good you don't remember it. I don't remember but, that. Yeah. Okay, well, good. All water under the bridge then. Yeah, I don't but remember that. Maybe, maybe you could unblock me. Because I, I also sent you some, um, some videos of cyst extractions. So people popping giant what? cysts, and uh, they, it was not meant to go to you. It was an accident, but um, you blocked fuck? me after that. Well, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I have no okay. clue what you're talking about. Okay, in that case, you won't have a problem unblocking me, right? I do have a problem on unblocking you, because people that I well, block, I, I block for a good reason. And, but I apologize. Uh, I'll I'll talk to my publicist, my my manager, my my uh, personal assistant, and uh, if he okay. if he uh, likes what he hears from you, he'll unblock you. Okay, Barry, just and, uh, just unblock me, the guy. I have him send his Instagram. My brother, we'll Greasy Kittens, my dad, Tank the Hank or Hank the Tank, and uh, my older brother. We sent you that Farmer Boys burger the other week. We hope we we're glad you enjoyed that. Farmer Boys is very nice. Thank you. That was very nice. Yep, you're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. Now, um, again, oh, wait, 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 wait. say what you just said all, all over again, please. Oh, I, I was saying that I wanted to give a shout out to Hank the Tank. Hank the Tank. Greasy Kittens. Greasy Kittens. Greasy Kittens. Yes. That's my, that's my dad and my little brother. And then my older brother, who's an aspiring musical writer. Okay. And he has, name? he has a couple ideas for you that he'll want to pitch. What is his name? He, uh, his name is Austin. You've talked to him on the phone before. Austin? I've talked to him on the phone? Yeah, Austin from Florida. It was a long time ago. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But And then I want to give a shout out to my wife, Lexi. But All right. So don't, tell Lexi. Tell Lexi. She fucking hates you. Little shout out. Hello, Lexi. Uh, we. Don't, I gotta well, get don't going. Her name. She really hates you. I. I well, if she hates me. Then, then up, forget but... about it. Well, you have a wonderful evening. Oh, okay. Thanks. Good talking to you. Okay. Love you. Thank love you. you. Bye bye. Thank you. Love you. Love you too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> I have to say, I love you to these people. God. <laughs> Hey Francis, think you will use a Randy pillow tonight while you're watching on Porno Hub? Wipe my dick off with that fucking thing. Yeah, maybe. And then I'll burn it. Yeah, burn it! I got another offer for you, Perry. I'm just trying to find it. Um, hmm. Oh, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong... Uh, are we ending at the normal time, 3 in the morning, or are we ending at, at an earlier time? Hey, Mr. Timekeeper, l l let me worry about that, okay? Um, okay, this one is $20 for you to write Frank, not Francis... On your chest with a Sharpie. Or just Francis. 
and cross it out just to make it clear that your name is not Francis. So you're basically why do writing, I have to write, why, why do I have to write these things on my body? Because you're getting offered money for it, okay? It's, that's and I, I think it's pretty. I think it's a positive message. It's not like they're saying my name is Francis. You're basically I'm making taking an, my shirt off to fucking write the name Frank. So this over here. Good, I get to go pee again. Yay! Oh, uh, that's a defiant P. That's a defiant P. But I'll I'll accept it since you're uh, doing good. This shirt goes in the wash. Are you keeping that shirt? I thought you were going to sell it. I'm going to wash it then before I sell it. I'm not going to sell my sweat all over it. Maybe people want that. They want it, then they can buy it with all the sweat on it. I'll put it it could be, could be worth it. So grab a Sharpie, do your bathroom thing, and come back. If I put a diaper on and I start peeing in a diaper, that won't be as exciting as me going to the restroom, hearing the waterfall. This is not exciting to anybody. Being in a waterfall. Let me take my medicine after 6 p.m. All right, now come back and grab something to write with. No, get a Sharpie, you said? Over here. Yeah, any black marker of your choice. Black marker of my choice. Sharpie. Black. Frank? Yeah, Frank in big letters. I know this is going to be tricky. <laughs> Good Lord. Yeah, you know what? I don't think the Sharpie's working. What else you got? Let's see. You know what? Let's use the lipstick. You have lipstick. Use the lipstick on my body rather than the Sharpie. Yeah. Yeah, I think the lipstick would be the way to go. Okay. Let's do the lipstick. Yeah, okay. I think you got to start. All right. If you're going big, you're going to have to go down then. Okay. Frank, F, do the F. 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 Yep. Yeah, that's F. good. R. I mean, I R. Tell you. Yep. So you're going lowercase. Okay, that's fine. A. That's an A? That's a lowercase A. It is now. It is now. N. N. Bastard. That, that looks like a Y. It is not. Uh, All right. Do, do a K. Do a K. Okay. 
Good. And then underneath that, not. What? It's Frank, not Francis. So Frank, and then I'm not, not writing that fucking. Not. Yes, I'm Perry. Not that's what Francis. we agreed on. That's the deal. Yes, I'm not. Not and then Francis. Fuck you. Underneath that, don't don't say f you to me. First of all, no baby mode, and and then you do not right there. You got a huge huge canvas right there. Don't tell me you can't do this. Right underneath, let's get not uncentered. N O T O T Now Francis underneath. That's a backwards N, but we'll accept it. Last time I'm not doing this ever again. Well, I think it would be a weird one to do more than once. Okay. Um, wait, let me. That A is really weak. Fix the A. No, fix the other side. Now it looks like two Fs. That's good. Fix the I. In Francis? Yeah, that was right. Make the eye a little stronger. Oh. And why, why do I, I have to fix, fix the R? Fix the R. Fix because it looks weak. And fix the R. The R is a small R. All right, fix the I. Just make it a little stronger. In, in Francis. There you go. Now fix the I and you're done. There. Nothing to fix. That's good. You want to make an? I want to put an explanation point for uh, emphasis. Nothing to fix. Uh, nothing to fix. But if you want to add an explanation point, you can. No need. Okay, sit down. Shower time. That's not what now. Means. No, not now. Not now. Assholes. That looks good. Uh, also, the offer from uh, Wes Most is in, so we're going to uh, call him next. He wants to introduce himself since you didn't know him at all. So I just sent I just sent that number in uh, your chat. If we can make that our next call. Seven zero two number. That would be the one. Okay. Don't hang up on him either. Be polite. This is, you know, this, he paid for this call. It's almost like my old number. 439. One of my old numbers. Hello? What's most? Hey, who's this? Scary Perry, Big, da Big Daddy, Perry f from Perry Caravel. Can't even talk. Uh, hold on. Perry hold on. Caravel Scary Alive. Perry, oh, okay, you're the guy from TV. Great. Hey, um, it's great to meet you. I, I stumbled across, I, I heard about you from Mike Lindell. I, uh, I I came to the stream and it seems, oh, so what is, what is it going on here? People send you food and you eat food. What, what do you do? Tell me about you. Who is Perry? Well, well, I do a stream here on the internet called Perry Caravel mm -hmm. Live. Mm -hmm. It's basically about my uh, my my uh, comedy career, my uh, skateboarding career, which a lot, which uh, my my uh, coworkers on uh, Perry Caravel Live don't like that because I'm 57 years old. I still skateboard, but the guys oh, that oh, I oh, skateboard on, with I, are, are I, as I, old as me and older than me. Yeah, okay. but in here, is it called, is it Perry Caravella live or those other guys live? Because it sounds to me, and excuse me, as, a, as someone who just stumbled in here, it sounds to me like if the show is called Perry Caravella Vera, Caramello live, uh, no, no, no. live, you should be no, able to. My yeah, name is Caravello. Uh, it's Caravello. They like of fucking with the spelling of my name to fuck with me. Uh, C A R A V as in Victor, E double L O. 
That's how you spell looking, my name. I'm looking for the pen and paper. I'm yeah. going to write that down before we get off the remind me. I'm going to put a pin in that. But uh, what I was saying is, if it's if it's the Perry Caramello show, why can't Perry Caramello talk about what Perry Caramello wants to talk about? Because it's not Caramello. It's Carabello. C A R as in car. Yeah. Oh. Again. C A R as in car. A as in apple. Okay. V is in Victor, E double L O. Period. All right, so, so the show is about you not talking about skateboarding. What what else goes on? No, it's not about me not talking about me not skateboarding. Because when I had a skateboarding career before I almost died in a, in a near death auto accident, it was a fun career. It would have oh, been wait, a better have... career if I uh, didn't have my auto accident and became a pro, but that didn't happen. Perry, can I have just a sprinkle of your time and just say, you're not really giving me a chance to say anything, and, and that's a little odd, because I've spoken with people on the internet before, and uh, I found it to be a very inviting place where people are able to dialogue, and, and there's a back and forth. It seems like right now you're just waiting for me to stop talking so you could say things in kind of an elevated voice pattern. Well, you're I'm doing a, fine. I, I don't mind you talking. Okay, so, so what I was, because you, you see, you cut me off, so I lost my train of thought. And I don't think that's very professional for someone to do. But listen, this is Perry Car- Carousella Live, and on the car- we're on the Carousella Perry, so this is your show, right? So excuse this me for is... coming in. Try- I'm not trying to tell you how to do your job. I think you're doing great. So and You're out there still some- fucking with my last name, you piece of shit. Whoa, whoa. I- yeah, <laughs> whoa, whoa, uh, okay. whoa. Again. Uh, I, I spent, I spent some money to call you to get to know name. you. I don't. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, Perry. Um, so my name, now let me explain who I am. Um, my name is, is Wes Most, okay? And it's weird that you don't know who I am because I know who you are. Uh, because I was paid a great deal of money by Amy Lebronte to build something at that pool party website. And we've had numerous phone conversations and we've yelled and screamed at each other, but maybe the Oh, so you're the motherfucker with because- the pool party websites, huh? Yeah, on that Westmos, not the other fucking imposter Westmos. But listen, Perry, it, it, I want to talk so to you. So my cunt, have bitch, whore, sister-in-law yeah. is paying yeah. you fucking money to build me well, a, to build on. my fucking website? A website well, to on, fucking Perry. piss me off? That fucking Perry. cunt? Perry, we're going backwards here. Cause, see, I feel like a new man um, because I had a talk with my pastor and we discussed what Amy did. So I understand why you don't know me, because Perry, I didn't know me. But now I do, and I understand that what was done to you was wrong, and I'm starting to think, Perry, I'm getting this sneaking suspicion that some of the people sending you food and sending you gifts, they probably know you don't like those things. And my Thanks. eyes have just been open to this recently. Oh, brother. Yeah, so... You're a victim of know, Amy, too. I'm a victim of Amy, too. We're Boy. both victims. And, and so when you're yelling and screaming Boy. at me, Perry, you're, you're attacking a victim. And what is I this? wanted to give you a chance. The Exorcist I Part 4? You- is this another movie called The Exorcist Part 4? She's a fucking part- witch. She's a she's yeah. the devil, can, dude. Can she is me, so fucking evil. Oh, yeah. Fucking I, I agree. Can you do me a favor, though? Now that we both were, were in this together... You no, are my brother in arms. Can you stop yelling at me? I'm not can yelling at that? you. I'm yelling at the situation. Okay. Well, all right. Yeah, we can yell at him too. Fuck that guy. But listen, um, here's no, what, no, here's no, what, no, here's no. what I propose. The situation is going pro- on right now. Oh, I thought you meant from that Jersey Shore show because fuck that guy, right? But here's what I'm proposing. Uh, you and I, right, we join forces. And we get this bread because there was so much money made. Apparently, there were dick towels. There were apartment tours. There were blueprints of how to rebuild that fucking microwave. Uh, Oh, she was doing like a timeshare on the credenza. You know, like 30 people think they own that credenza when you die. And then she's talking about something. I'm not dying! 12, 12, 21 is not a death thing! It's not a death dying day prophecy! Motherfucker! You're yelling at the wrong. You're shooting. You're shooting the messenger. Okay, you called me your favorite. Boy. Right, I'm going to say it like this. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Please, time out, time out, time out. Since I have okay, you yeah, on the phone, right, I'm going to give you one fucking prophecy about twelve, twelve, twenty-one, twelve, okay. twelve, twenty-one. I'm going to be with either Whitney Cummings, Jenny Garth, or Scarlett Johansson. That's here, my prophecy. Ah! 
one of the three. Prophecies. Yeah, one of the Can three is going to be here, but, okay. and we're going to do a stream on that day. 12, 12, yeah, 21. It's either hey, Scarlett, Whitney, okay, I, or Jenny. Barry, Barry, I watched a documentary called Final Destination, okay? And it's a true story about these people who cheated death because they saw a prophecy. They saw the future. And guess what happened? When death has a plan, you can't fight it. Tony fucking Todd said that, okay? And he was in Dawn of the Dead. I don't think I have to say any more. So you yeah. telling me that, hey, on 12, 12, 21, I'm going to be with Whitney Cummings. I'm going to be with Whitney Houston. I'm going to be with, you know, fucking um, Tina Yothers. Okay, it doesn't matter what you do, Perry. If this isn't the cards and Amy's saying it is, Perry, do you know how much money she's spending on psychics who are like rubbing dust on shit and telling her what's going to happen? It's fucking ridiculous. All is, okay, all I know is thirty people think they're getting that credenza, and they all have plane tickets for twelve, thirteen, twenty-one. Is that a coincidence? Tough shit. They're not getting nothing. Right. They're not getting nothing. Talking, I understand, but can, here's what I'm asking you to do. Can you apologize to me now for all the yelling you did at me before? Before, not today. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, okay, that's funny. I like to yell. That's good. Before, Come not on. today. I'm going to oh, yell yeah. my fucking yeah. head off at you today. Oh! <laughs> Yeah, that's good. So uh, I'm just saying there was a lot of yelling and screaming, but now that we know we're both victims of Amy and her deceitful ways, I don't care how hot she is. She's she not that dirty. hot, okay? So, well, I mean, let's she's agree not disagree. That she's hot. way, she's she way doesn't hotter have than Jenny Garth. 2021, Jenny Garth doesn't yeah. hold a candle to Amy Big Tits Lebronte. I'm sorry, that's what we call her at my house. Um, Big Tits? So, if you're lucky, <laughs> she's a B cup, maybe a C cup. Again, oh, you haven't maybe seen, oh, okay. a okay, you didn't. So some of the money that she said that you stole from the will funds, but then she took I back stole and, from I the will know. funds? No, yeah, that I, cunt! I, that cunt fucking robbed me yeah. and my oldest brother! That fucking cunt! Oh. Yeah, they went to the okay. bank the day! Well, either the day, oh, it, was, it was like a week before my mom died. Yeah, they went yeah, to the was, bank a week before uh, my uh, mom died and almost closed the bank account. They just kept it open okay. with like a dollar and some silver in the fucking bank. Just to so keep let me ask you a question. Hold on. Hold on, because this is good. Where were you? I was working at my I was working for my family at the time. At the print shop. Yeah. Why didn't you go to the bank and get the money? I should I, have. Like, well, I on, should have. On, Perry, Perry, I let you talk to hold up. Because it sounds like you have some trust issues with Amy. So if you knew she was a dirty, deceitful person. Why did you I didn't, go get that I didn't money go. before? You had no problem leaving the print shop at other times. Or I heard you also called some people the N-word. Like, come on, let's not act like the job was that important to you. You could have gone to the bank and gotten that money. Because guess what? I should guess have you gotten would, that money. And, and you know you, do you know where you would be right now? In a completely different situation. You'd be probably with Amy Big Kiss Lebronte uh, building race cars. You'd have a son named no, like thank Sport you. or no, Chet. No, thank you. No, thank you. Tiger Boy. No, 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 no. No, she's married. She's married to my brother. I, I, I know. I want nothing to that. I want nothing to do with that skank. No, that's my that's so, my yeah. sister in law. I want nothing know, to do with that. Back skank. to the original point of the call. I think you owe me an apology. Why don't we both just take a deep breath? Good the apology, night. And then you can We're move, done. Thank then you. you can move on with the show. We're done. We're done. We're done. Thank so you. So I don't get an apology. No, thank you. Bye. I never want to be inside you again, Perry. You fall. Sick bastard. <sighs> Do I have to make another fucking phone call with with assholes like this on the fucking phone? I can't predict what you're going to get on the other line, Perry, but uh, we'll do one more, uh, but not not right now. Uh, you know, <clears throat> while you were one uh, more, that's call, it. Well, I was think I was thinking about something, Perry, uh, and I, I want to actually do an official poll. Uh, this is a this is a poll that uh, people can click on, like not not a uh, in chat poll. Not a bullshit uh, poll. No, it's not a bullshit poll. It's about the stream. It's it's about Sundays. Finally, because, it's something for uh, real. I right, Perry, can you snap to get come come with yeah, me here and stop okay, stop fine. being a uh, cantankerous? I'm actually trying to do some serious uh, channel business here. Um, Good. Because last week, a lot of people liked uh, the earlier start of 12 noon for International Subscriber Sunday. Now, I don't think 12 yeah. noon is ideal every week but a lot of people liked it however when we go on at 5 p.m pacific on sundays our numbers do really well like right now we, we've been hovering around 
700 pretty much the entire time. So it, this this is a good time slot. We just lost a ton of people. Why did you Why did you make this remark to make us lose a ton I of people? We, no, we didn't lose anything, and don't dart your eyes anywhere else. We didn't lose anybody. We're doing very well. We got about seven. We got a little over 700 people right now, but. You're almost at 800, you okay, bastard. Can I get this out? Can I get this out, please? Get it out. What I want to do is ask the subscribers, ask the followers, ask everybody watching right now, what's an ideal time for you to start on Sundays? If it's 5, then I'm fine with 5. But a lot of people say that they want to start earlier. So uh, there's a chat, there's a uh, poll going on right now uh, for 1 p.m. 24-7? Perry, can hey, you I'm shut right. up? Can you shut up? I'm right in the middle of giving this out. Go ahead. 1 p.m., 2 p.m., 3 p.m., 4 p.m., or 5 p.m., the five choices. Now, I know a lot of people uh, probably overseas, like in England, are not awake right now to even uh, participate in this. But uh, see, 5 John, p.m. John, Eastern Standard Time. That makes it uh, 2 p.m. Uh, uh, West Coast time. Yeah, right. We're talking in what we're talking West Coast time specifically. What would you guys consider a good start time for you? Okay, because we we're serving twelve you. noon West Coast or twelve a.m. That's midnight. Yeah, so Sorry. I'll, I'll wait to see the result. This is an actual poll that's going on, and you can click on it. So the again the in chat poll three o'clock. The in chat poll is not uh, counting. It's it's the actual poll that you click on. So we'll five see what those results are. I just. Again, Four Perry, the in chat Perry, the in chat poll is not something that I'm concerned with. I'm concerned with the actual poll that people who are watching on Twitch can vote on. Um, so anyway, I, I, I'll be curious to see those results. And, and if it's five, right. we'll stick with five. Uh, we're not going to go any later than five on Sunday. But uh, if you want to go an hour early, two hours early, we can do that. <coughs> so, uh, I, I've been getting a lot of requests to start earlier. That's the only... Um, the only thing I never promised that Liz where are you getting that from um, so anyway uh, we'll move on uh, let me get you some offers Perry there, there, there's some offers that came in um, while we wait on those results uh, okay okay this is a $200 offer this is a high What's this is a high offer? it's a high offer it's one of the highest we've had $200 for you to microwave the steak, broccoli, and potato from the shop vac for 10 minutes and then eat it. I'm not eating it. Yeah, I, I agree with you. It probably shouldn't eat no, it. No, I'm not eating the it. Shop vac, but the shop vac. It's been, it's been yeah, vacuumed. I, I, had, I, had, I had to at least oh. articulate it to you because no. that, uh, you know, I... I I had a, I had a, it's a lot of money, but I agree it's probably not a good thing to eat it. Um, it's in the shop yeah. back. Yeah, so we'll see. You can you can tell me you're going to give me a thousand dollars. You can tell me you're going to buy me a new fucking no, I, house. I, I, this is one I, I agree with you on. I don't this give is a one. Fuck. This is one I agree with you on. Okay, I just had to. I had to uh, bring it up. Anyway, I'll even, I'll, say, I'll even say it like this. You can tell me that Bob Hope's mansion in Palm Springs. You will give me if I can eat that steak, and baked potato, and, uh, and, and pff, no fucking way. I'm not putting hair in my stomach. Right. And put me in the hospital. Fuck that. Because there's hair in the fucking vacuum. No. Hmm. No. I don't think you should eat it. Microwaving might be a different thing, but uh, you know, we'll we'll see. So who's this girl from uh, from Asia, China, Japan, Korea? They keep talking to me in my ear. I have no idea. Wait, are you picking up some radio station? No, yeah, I'm picking up something from uh, in an Asian language. They keep talking to me in my ear. Oh. Maybe maybe it's saying battery low in its default language. Okay. That might be true. Anyway. So the stream is over? Hello? Hey, no, it's not over, Perry. Hold on. Battery low? Uh, it's not saying anything. All right. Listen. 
I'm, go- I'm just catching up on some offers here. Okay, the offer has been raised to 250 but you have, yeah. Okay, I'm going to cancel this off. Well, no, because he wants you to eat it. So, no, I'm going to cancel that offer. Forget so, it! That- okay, I already canceled it for you, Perry. Like I said, I'm not going to put you in harm's way. I think that would be disgusting. Do me now. There it is. There it is. That's what I got in the ear. Do me now. What? Some chick he keeps telling me to do me now in my ear. Uh, it's not coming from my end. <laughs> do me now. I tune into your stream and the first thing I see is you kissing a pillow with Randy Callahan on it. I thought you were a man made for women. Jeez. I am what? I, mean, I thought you were... I am... I, I, yeah, I'm a made man. Thank you. <coughs> but again, uh, twelve, twelve, twenty-one. I'm busy, so don't even bother me. I'm not even, either. I'm here with a girl. Glad you are doing better, Perry. Did you ever apologize to the Hog and Dodds for smearing shit on the walls with Richard Ramirez? I never did anything in high inside the Hog and Dodds. I never smeared anything on the walls inside Hagen Dazs. So, no. Smeared shit on the walls. I'm not like that. I mean, remember kids doing that in junior high. It's disgusting. It looks like that, uh, it looks like that earpiece died. Am I right? It says, do me now. I keep saying, do just me now. Just take it out. Just take it out. Just give me a weird feedback. Get the other one in. The one that, the one, the one that works. Hold on. The big, uh, the big boy. Big boy is over in the... Wait. Don't do this. Okay. Come here. All this fucking lipstick on my fingers. There. All right. This way. You How long there. should this take? Sit I'm, I'm looking for other offers. I gotta find the fucking other, other earpiece. Yeah. Okay. Interesting uh, poll results. No. Yeah. I'll tell you. Come sit down. What? All right. So the results are right now. Now, granted. We're doing this poll four hours into the stream, so a lot of people that would favor earlier start times are not on. Okay. Okay. Three percent would like a two p.m. Pacific start time. That's three percent. Yes, I know. I'm starting with the lowest and working my way up. Oh. Oh. Okay. 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 Seven percent would like a three p.m. Pacific start time. What's 50% or more? 8% would like a 4 p.m. Pacific start time. 30% would like a 1 p.m. Pacific time. And by far the winner is 52% with the 5 p.m. start time, which is what we do now. So I guess we'll stick with that for now. Okay. I just wanted to give, I want to give people the option. Okay. Because a lot of people have been asking. 5 p.m. stays. That's all. 5 p.m. stays for now, but I think we'll do International Subscriber Sunday every now and again. Got and it. We'll do that at a noon start time. Got it. Okay. I was late. Why Eight. did you tell R.C. you loved him and kiss him? I thought he raped you. No man would tell his rapist that he loved him. Hashtag R.C. to him. hashtag Randy last framed. Doing a job! Doing a job! People do things at their job that they don't love. They do it because it's their job. Blah, 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 It's Wes most. Please stop talking about a pool party. 
It was a scam by Amy Liberant and I apologize. She scammed me and stole my credenza. Hashtag how dare you. She's a fucking whore. She scammed you and stole your fucking bedroom, bedroom dressers? How the fuck does that happen? It's Lance, your trainer. Your workout before no, Wednesday stream. Jumping jacks, 9 reps, 2 sets, squats, thrust, 9 reps, 2 sets, dumbbell, 9 reps, 2 sets. I got a gym here. I'll do my, I'll do my own sets. Hey, Bear Bear. It's Dimitri. Call me if you want to have a good time. Official poll. Press 1 if Perry should call Dimitri. Press 2 if not. I am not calling this fucking moron. I will not call this fucking loser. Look at this accident. Oh, my God. As the ultimate tribute to Sam Kinnis and Perry Francine Caravello staged the car wreck. He couldn't die. Thinking oh, quick, fuck? he faked a coma instead. For Sam. How do you stage a coma, you fucking idiot? How do you stage a fucking coma, you fucking moron? It's Lance, your trainer. I know you hate anchovies, buddy, but they're a superfood. Stream shape means eating more anchovies. Crush fat no, ass pill. More anchovies. Fuck you! Trainer my ass. Lance, my trainer. Fucking hey, dreamer. Do you, still, do you still have that bread that the uh, steak came with? Uh... Right there. Okay, good. You don't have to get it. You don't have to get it. Sit down. Sit down. Why? Because uh, Black Mage has an offer, $75 to microwave the bread for 10 minutes and then take a big bite. $75? You know what that fucking will do? It'll burn my fucking mouth. Well, you know, I, again, I don't think you have to eat it the second it comes out of the microwave. You can let it cool down a little bit. But I think that's oh a good my offer. God! It's an easy one. It's just bread. We can monitor it. And it would be good because the microwave is facing this way again. Jesus, fuck! So that's accepted. Where's the bread? In here! We'll take the foil out. Take the foil of off. Out. All these obnoxious time limits in a microwave. Well... Yeah. Perry, there's a lot of watch parties that go along with this stream that you know that you've seen, and they love the microwave stuff. So I'm sure they're all toasting it right now and having a jolly old time. So you're making a lot of people happy. This is 10 minutes, and we'll monitor it. If it starts smoking or anything, you can stop it prematurely. Gotta go piss again. Okay, this is a microwave pee. Don't worry. Jesus. You can take a shower after the stream. It's not that big of a deal. Oh, I know. I know there was a... Uh, there was a... Hmm. I'm missing... Maybe I'm not looking at the right uh, message thread. I'm just catching up on offers. Uh, did I, moderators, can you help me on offers? Did I get everything? Wasn't there one about him tattooing the uh, lipstick? Because I don't see it. I'm trying to look for it. If you can just relay that. If I didn't get it, whatever offers I missed, just, re, you know, to, uh, just send them to me again. What are you knowing about? I got 
lipstick on the fucking nice uh, uh, Mike Lindell towels. That's all right. That's what they're for. No, you don't want to put lipstick on those fucking towels. That's what they're for, you fucking idiot. Ugh, evil bastards. So what? I'm just catching up on stuff here. <coughs> While that microwave's here. I mean, I'll play a uh, comment. Perry, I'm sorry I haven't sent you the 30 tins of popcorn you asked for yet, but I have become poor by spending too much on credenza repairs. I didn't sorry. ask for 30 fucking tins of popcorn! You motherfucker! Stop sending me fucking popcorn! Go fuck yourself and go to hell now, you fucking pathetic dumb fuck. Fuck off now, you dipshit motherfucker. I am not a Perry, you can check your microwave. Oh, Jesus Christ. Get a... Get a... Get, get that out of there. Get that out of there. Perry, get a towel. Get a towel. Put that in there. Get that out. Get that out of there. Get it out. Get it out the door. Out the door. Out the door right now. Out the door. No, out the patio door. You're gonna put that in the, the microwave seems eee. I think uh, somebody got their wish about that microwave finally. Might need might need a bonus tip to replace the microwave. Perry, right, you're gonna have to get that microwave outside. I think it's on fire. It's not on fire, thank God. Well it it open it up. Is that just a light? Yeah. All right, air it out, air it out. They're being aired out. Ugh. Yeah, it's just a light. Surprise yeah. it, bread. That will never be done again! All right, I agree, I agree. Just make sure you turn on the fan. Get the fan. Get the fan on. Turn the, um, open the window in the, uh, kitchen. Kitchen windows, kitchen windows open. This will never be done again! Any, any request for the microwave are never gonna happen again. Okay, We're done. I agree. I agree. I agree. I'll replace the microwave if anything happened. No more microwaving. Can no you, uh, more motherfucking can you microwaving. reset? Can you reset your alarm so you can turn that beeping off? It's not gonna go off. We'll just air air it out a little bit. Well, wow, somebody got their 75's worth. Yeah, now I'm gonna have to fire people over here. Son of a bitch! Sorry, right, let the smoke dissipate. You're okay. All the way out on the, it's outside. Don't worry about it. Pet. Just check it. Just check it. Make sure it's okay. It's fine. It's on the fucking. I'm not going outside. Oh, make sure it's open all the way so you can air it out. Keep it open all the way. Keep it open all the way. Is the is the window in the kitchen open? Yes. Hey, just take just take the fire. Just now that there's not a fire danger, you could just reset that alarm. The I just did, God damn! Shut up! Hey. You know, I'm not gonna stop until the fucking smoke is gone. Is the window in the kitchen definitely open? The window. I, Perry, I just passed along an offer. And I, when I saw the smoke, I told you to take care of it, and you did. We won't do any more microwave stuff for a while. Ever again! Ever again. Well, for a while. Ever again, I th God damn you! 
I think you could turn that off though, because it's it's there's not a danger of anything going on. Son of a bitch! You're okay. Fire Where is that? Should be called. They're not going to be called because there's no fire. It's just. You left something in the microwave. It happens all the time. Where is that? Where is your alarm in the apartment? Right outside my bathroom door. Just take, just take care of it. Just re just take the battery out for now. I don't and then you take it! No, you didn't take the battery out because it wouldn't be still going on. Just take the battery out, and then you can put it back in. Just remove the battery, and then we'll be sure to replace it afterwards. Just remove the battery for now. Just take the battery out. Good God, take the battery out. <laughs> Perry, battery. There you go. You got a great offer too, by the way. Don't put it back in, Perry. Just come on. Come on out. Come on. Come on over here. Perry, stop. You just put it back in. Leave it out. Leave it out. Perry, leave it out. And come back over here, please. Oh, my God. Perry, turn it. Leave it off. Leave it alone. Leave it alone. Perry, the battery. Take the battery out. <coughs> what? All right. You got an offer to... Shop vac the smoke, which actually is probably Impossible! pretty good idea. God damn you guys are done! No, all you gotta do is hold the vac up to the air and let it let it suck it up. That's what they're for. Forty dollars, easy forty. Accepted. Let's. Do it. No, it won't. It, it'll it'll dissipate it. Forty dollars to get rid of the smoke. It's working. It's working. There's a lot less smoke. You guys are sick. You're evil and you're all demented. Every fucking hey, one of you. Perry, nobody, Black Mage, but first of all, did not intend for your uh, microwave to uh, start smoking like that. Is that, a, is that a special kind of microwave? Because that doesn't really handle things well. I mean, a piece of bread... It wasn't even in there. Handle bread like this. I know, but it wasn't even in there for five minutes. It should a bread should not start smoking within five minutes. But your your microwave is a very low tolerance. Maybe we should get you a more robust microwave. My microwave is perfect. We're done doing anything ever again with my fucking microwave. You son of a bitch. Okay, don't yell at me. All right, come on back. Let's uh, let's finish this up. Fucking assholes! W what happened to your bucket? Fuck my bucket! Come on, get the bucket in while we close out. Let's not do baby mode. Son of a bitch!
fucking assholes. Every fucking one of you fucking fans are a bunch of fucking no good son of a bitches. Hey, it's Subscriber Sunday. Let's not talk to our viewers like that. That was one guy. Oh, they suck my no. dick. Uh-oh. This shit is disgusting. We, Perry, this, nobody, nobody wanted to see uh, this happen, okay? We're doing the best we can, but don't blame it on everybody. You got a lot of great people on here that are... Yeah, hey, Perry, sure. you, you, I, I don't know what happened, but your numbers just spiked considerably. Maybe that was a... a people will say that was a... Yeah, fucking rating, spike my ass. Set. They did. Look, look, you're well over 700 now. I don't Good. know if you're doing math. Anyway. Should be 7,000! Where's the zeros? Okay. Let's just, let's just continue on. You fucking bitches! Shut the fuck up, you fucking pathetic dumb fuck. Go fuck oh, yourself and go to hell now, you dipshit bastard. motherfucker. Fuck off. Oh, fuck yourself. Fuck you too. Pathetic piece of garbage. Happy Mother's Day, Perry. How about dancing on the credenza in honor of Moma Caravello? They'll give you twenty five dollars. No, I'm not going at you, son of a Please. bitch. Perry, are you sure Randy's cone was not yellow? One hundred sure. Wasn't it yellow because you said it tasted as sweet as the juiciest pineapples Allah has created? Perry, it's what's most. Maybe you should do an announcement at the end of each show not to kill cats. Let people know where you stand. Bob Barker style. I'm killing fucking cats! God damn it! Never using that microwave on this stream ever again. We're done. My fellow Italian, I'm excited about your new hats. What happened to the fedora Thank you wore in WCH? You said you would fight for that type of brim. That hat was destroyed. Actually, no, that hat I left at um, Hooters one day when I went there with Dan Dizak. I actually took the, took the hat off to put on a shirt, and I forgot to put the hat back on my head. And he's running off, and I'm running after the motherfucker. And I forgot the hat at the restaurant. As I'm running down the street to catch the piece of shit. Hey, Perry, forgive me, but uh, in all the excitement, I forgot the uh, most important part of that... Uh offer from Black Mage. Now what? Now what? Now what? Hey, please don't do that. Please don't scream. You still have to take a bite of the bread. It's outside, I believe. I'm not taking, I'm not touching that fucking thing. Well, we can let it, it, we can let it cool down, but at some point tonight, you got to take a bite. It's, it's, it was part of the deal. You could put some uh, butter on it. Come on! Motherfucker! Oh, it's you guys. Sons of bitches. There we go. There we go. We're good? We're good? Okay. Go ahead. One bite and that's it. 
No, that doesn't count. You got to do it in frame. Fuck you! Fuck you! Fuck you! Yeah. That's good. Thank you. Sick motherfuckers. You can toss it. All right, come on back. Come on. No, leave it open. Let it, let the smoke clear. Leave it open. Leave it open. That's good. Screen, not the door. Okay, that's fine. Oh, the shit out of my fucking house. All right, we were not alone. I use a bone detector around your complex and it had really, really high readings next to uh, Trevor lives. I'm sending all info to the police. Uh, go right ahead. Hey, Pear Bear, Dimitri Moreland here. Can you wear that RC pillowcase when I come visit? We can mo play the RC incident, but we blow each other. Ever again! Do I want that ever talked about? Ever brought up? You son of a bitch! You son of a bitch! You ever come here? I'm gonna have you sent to jail! You son of a bitch! Get off my fucking computer! Right. You sucker! Good night! We're done! With that cocksucker! I don't ever want to see his fucking name on my goddamn computer again! Son of a bitch! My supervisors from military supply might be coming for me, but first him coming for you. It'll get that money from you one way or another. It'll get you. What money? That was the gentleman you spoke to on the phone earlier. <laughs> earlier. I don't know what the fuck he's talking about. It's okay. Uh, actually, speaking of uh, phone, let's get one more in. Here, let me, uh... My house is all fucking smoked out. It'll clear out, Perry. You got the A window. We, we we all have microwave mistakes. It happens to the best of us. No, no, we don't. I wouldn't have this fucking mistake if I had a dumb son of a bitch named Don fucking... Oh, wait, wait, wait. What's your name again? Tom fucking Brennan! Tell me to put a bunch of piece of fucking bread in the microwave! Get out put bread in the microwave! Hey, enough! Son of a bitch! Uh-oh, uh-oh, we got a warning here. Baby mode warning, it's coming. You've been good, it's time to calm down. Take a deep breath, don't say Tom effing Brennan. Let's... Tom effing Brennan! No. Tom effing Brennan! Let's Tom dial it down. Brennan. Fuck you! No, let's oh. dial it down. Oh. No baby mode, no baby mode. Here, if you check your chat, you got a new phone number. Let's uh, call that, please. Hello? Hello? I don't hear anything, Perry. Neither do I. Did you call it? Is it connected to the speaker? Oh. Hello? Hi. The speaker of the live? Hello? Hi, Perry? Yeah, who's this? Oh my god, I haven't talked to you in so long. Who is this? You came to visit me at my work a little while ago. Who is this? It's Melanie, I actually met you a long time ago. Melanie who? Well, I can't tell you my last name. Wait a second. You met me at the Griffin Bar. The Griffin Bar. 
Yeah, you came and visited me. I gave you free food. You emptied your whole entire purse on my bar. Fanny pack, sorry. Fanny pack. What bar was this? The Griffin in Atwater Village. God, that's years ago. Yeah, see, you remember. Years ago. Yeah. What, year, what year was that? That was in 2008. Yeah, years ago. Yeah. God almighty. Oh, my God. You gave me a bunch of merch. You gave me stickers, a T-shirt. You, gave, you autographed my DVD. That was, oh, my God. How are you? I'm great. I've been following you for years. <laughs> oh, brother. All right. How have you been? That new hat is actually kind of interesting. Well, it's a stupid chicken bucket. You know that for sure. That I have. Kind of greasy. You're, you're, you're yeah, you're it's disgusting. It's on my fucking head, and I'm not happy about it being on my head. But anyway, my house. Some idiot said, put the fucking bread in my microwave for 10 minutes. I almost had a fire go on in my apartment because there was fire I in my microwave. That. I'm actually going to send you a fire extinguisher. No need for a fire extinguisher. Do you have a fire extinguisher? No, no. You should have one because some, you're going to burn down your entire building. No, I'm not. You're going to actually no, have I'm to not. pay for it. You know that, right? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not burning down my building. I'm not doing stupid shit like this ever again. We're done doing anything with my microwave ever again. Okay, done. Well, I'm still going to send you a fire extinguisher just in case. You know, just in case you put your incense on and you're trying to get all sexy. And... All right, you, do you know where I live? No, I don't. Because if you do, I want you over here right before this show ends. I need your address for that. What's your address? I'm not giving it to you. Find out through the moderators. My God, how am I going to find you, Perry? Because shit. I said ask my moderators. I thought you were the main moderator, though. Aren't no. you the main moderator? I'm the, I'm the host of the stream. The host I'm, not, the I'm not the moderator. I get it. Okay. You're being shy. That's fine. Oh, by the way, my Nana loves you. Oh, well, tell her thank you. Very sweet. She's a huge fan of yours. Very sweet. That's nice. Now, uh, when do you... you know what? Just to let you know... Yes? The fact that you turned your microwave around, amazing. Amazing! You know what? I watched a, um, a video of guys and gals at a bar in Wichita, Kansas. When I turned my microwave around, they all jumped up for joy... Like like what like I just won the lottery or something, it was hilarious. I couldn't Dude, I couldn't laugh amazing. so fucking. I can't. It was like a thousand people. It was like a thousand people. Honey, you, honey, it was. It reminds out? me. There's there there used to be a bar here in the valley, um, Weber's. That was like a long bar. Okay. And uh, that place used to fill up with about five six hundred people late at night when I used to do comedy shows there and stuff. And when you got an entire bar jumping up for joy and laughing and, and cheering it on, it, it was just incredible. Dude, that moves the earth, right? It moves the earth. I couldn't They're, stop. I couldn't crazy. stop laughing. I couldn't stop laughing at what I saw. Couldn't stop laughing. All right, Mary, sweetie. It is so good to hear from you. Sweetheart, um, I, it's an honor to talk to you as well. I'm glad I got a good person on the phone rather than a jerk. <clears throat> Maybe we can meet up again sometime. Sure. What do you hey, think? What happened to your walker? My walker? Yeah. The my one walker or my crutches? The walker. The, the walker I gave the, away. The, the, the porta potty next year. Your, your oh, bed. the porta potties. The porta potty I gave away. I gave that to the uh, old folks home right up the street. What about your walker? I thought that you used that at the gym. The walker? No, I don't use the walker in the gym. No. Okay. Stay in shape, Perry, and uh, can't wait to see the new uh, hat ensemble. 
that you will be presenting in a couple weeks, man. Yeah, when the hats get here, I will be presenting nice new hats. And they were expensive hats. Yeah, thank Tom B for that. Tom, Tom Brennan better. is an incredible guy. I am honored. He takes care of me tremendously. And then he buys me these $1,000 hats like they're fucking $100 bills. I, I'm, I'm blown away with this guy. Yeah, I'm blown away with this guy. Skinny legends forever. Skinny blown legends away with forever. this guy. He's, he's an incredible guy. I thank him dearly for what he does for me and, how, and all the, all the uh, uh, lovable things he does for me and to keep me alive and to keep me uh, in, in a home with a roof over my head rather than living out in my fucking car. Well, see, you know what, Perry? I see if I, if, if Tom, excuse me, real, real, but, real. Um, I'm really excited for your chili cook-off uh, pool party. On I'm not having a chili cook-off! Never again! God damn it! No fucking way! I thought we were getting along. You and I are getting along, but I, what, what, what is this? Now I'm having a pool party and a chili cook-off! I'm not! Again, having a chili cook off ever again. Okay, Perry, I'm sorry to have crossed the line with you, but yeah, um, you just did. You, you just I'll did. You on, just uh, fucking Memorial did. For the chili there is no chili cook off. Good night. Bye. Good night. Son of a bitch. Now they're trying to say I'm having a chili cook off and a fucking pool party. Hey, Perry, Perry that was going well. That was going well. Why, why did you freak out like that? Yeah. Oh. Good no, night! I'm no, done! No, we gotta done. finish. We're done! We're done! We're done. No, no, we're not. We gotta finish up, Perry. Calm down. Take a beat. Take a beat. Chill out. All that fucking burnt shit in my mouth. Sorry. God damn it. I'm gonna have the cops over here in a couple minutes. Yo. Please, Daddy stole me away from Uncle Mole. All I have to eat in the credenza is old meat on some bones I found. I'm not touching anything in my home! You son of a bitch! These fucking people, Andrew. Fuck, I'm, I'm going to the toilet again. I gotta go to the bathroom again. I can't handle this shit. This is a defiant getup. This is a defiant getup. These fucking assholes! No, you're fine, Perry. Just chill out. That cat smells like a fucking dead body in here. <laughs> what? Yeah, that cat smells like a dead body. That's probably from you. Smells like a crematorium! Perry, you're doing it to yourself. Calm down. Let's finish up like a uh, finish up like a gentleman. Yeah, we're done. Yeah. Finish no, up. No, we're not done. We've got to finish up like a gentleman. Finish up. Perry, you haven't been baby mode in a long time, and let, let's let's get this done. You said you were done with baby mode, so just drop it, please. You got your screaming out. You got your yelling out. Let's let's be done with it now, okay? Thank you. Okay, Scare Master, no porn. I'm directing a few episodes of Stranger Things 5 and I need a big greasy monster for shooting. It's okay if monster's gay too. So? Not interested. It's less most. Amy LeBron has two buses full of guys showing up at your pool on Memorial Day to mess with you. I told her not to. She said, ha, ha, ha. Fine. I'm not going to be here. Goodbye. Ha, 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 ha. Perry loves consensual sex with men.
What the fuck? If it's not with a woman named Linda, who was the last woman that I made love to, no, I don't fuck guys. Hey, Perry, uh, there was an offer in earlier for you to go to a tattoo artist tomorrow and permanently... No! Fucking why? You didn't even hear me out. You didn't even hear me out. To get the uh, lipstick of Frank, not Francis, permanently tattooed for $100. I said no fucking way! Okay, that is how to make the offer. Jag off. Thank you, most honorable actor and comedian, for the warm, lovable review you gave Karate Kid 2. I'd like to train Stone Fury thanks, and Karate thanks, next. Thank you very Good. much, Pat. Very nice. Pat Moriarty's a real nice guy. Real nice guy. Thank you. He was in the Karate Kid movies. He was in Happy Days. Real nice guy. Real nice guy. Thank you, Pat. Perry, it's Wes Most. I have been very positive in giving tonight. Why did you call me a low-life piece of shit? Be honest. Because you are! Is this a race thing? Goodbye! Stop talking to me and asking me to do stupid shit! My house has still got smoke all over in it! It's a lot less than what it was. It's, it's. Um, I know, I know. So, so you're fine, please. Mama, it's me, your butt baby. Happy Mother's Day. Though you hate me, I still consider you my mother since you gave birth to me out of your anus. I'm sorry, but you're a turd. You fucking turd. Perry, if you could prevent the unfortunate event that happened to your mom by pulling her pants down and blocking the car fixer cock with your ass, would you? What the fuck? Yeah, go fuck yourself, asshole. Make no sense whatsoever. Happy Mother's Day to Linda J. We are sorry Perry decided to snuff out your precious fur babies by drowning them in a dirty toilet. Hashtag cat killer. Sick. And You're meow. fucking sick. Never happened. Perry, I'm at work at Hooters. Can you say hi to Taylor the bartender for me? She doesn't think you will. Hi, Taylor. Which which Hooters are we talking? The Hooters here in Hollywood or the Hooters in uh, Long Beach? Or the Hooters up in uh, Ventura County? You should really comb the desert, Perry. Please comb the damn desert. I'm not combing the desert for empty swimming pools. I'm, I don't live out there anymore. No need. Sorry, there's one pool that I want to skate out there, and that's the pool inside. How dare you talk trash about my Uncle Randy? He is honorable, man. Even after you forced yourself on him, he still gave you SAG vouchers. Apologize now. Oh, go, go fuck yourself, you fucking loser. I didn't force myself on Randy. I should have walked out of the office when he made the offer that he made. Here's twenty dollars to heat that beef up. Tell us more about Rancho Mirage. Rancho Mirage. What about Rancho Mirage? What the the the, uh, the uh, hospital stay at the uh, uh, Eisenhower Hospital for the first uh, first broken neck, or or the uh, girls from uh, from um, downtown Palm Springs that took me home. To uh, have sex with them and their mother in ranch at their home in Rancho Mirage. Perry, it's Wes. 
where the IRC pillow and tell the consensual story to Heidi of when you negotiated your way into oral sex and three SAG vouchers. Hashtag mouth humper. I don't know what the fuck this is. This idiot's talking about. Well, you you already did it, so you're okay. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Let's get rid of this. We love that shirt. Now that you are vaccinated, are you planning on getting back on stage? I need you to be doing comedy so we can tour and fuck. No, honey, I'm a streamer now. I'm not. Ba- I'm not going back to the comedy store. Get back on stage. That's for amateurs like Don Barris. Okay. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the $50 the donation. The very hungry and it's a full grown adult. It doesn't need you to cut the steak up like a baby. It's already in my vacuum cleaner. Uh, once again, that was sent in before you did it. God damn! Perry stuck the steak with the shop vac. Another $30 if you eat it out of the shop vac after. Great job tonight. Love the energy and positive attitude. What the fuck? Another $30 to eat the steak out of the vacuum cleaner. Are you fucking sick? Fuck you! Perry, I ordered a steak from Black Angus tonight to celebrate getting an A in my trumpet exam. Says it was delivered but I can't find it. Any ideas? Trevor, I got some bad news. If that steak was sent to my apartment and put in front of my door, rather than your door, that steak is in my vacuum cleaner right now. Whoops! But I don't believe that's my steak because it was put in front of 102, not 101. If it's yours, I'm very sorry. Great job on the steak. That shop vac sucked it down like it was an extra in trouble on a the set in Alvarado Hospital commercial. Okay. Thank you. Hey, Pear Bear. It's Dimitri. Here's $10 for using your shop back to demonstrate how you're going to suck me down when I come to visit. I ain't gonna fucking happen. There it is. I'm not gonna fucking suck you down when you come and visit. Never gonna fucking happen. I bought you the steak and explained if. that I have C-cups and can bend like a pretzel. When are you dumping Whitney for me, my baby love? My BF won't know. If you've got C-cups, that's fine. The worst thing about the 1992 incident is how Perry never spoke about it until recently and supported the mouth rape of extras for all these decades. Well, it was a slip. I should have never brought it up. But, lo and behold, the, uh... Perry, why do you hate the troops? Is it because terrifying Tim is an American hero? How can you ever perform for the troops if you hate them? Gay boy. I don't hate the troops. My daughter was a troop. My father was a troop. I've got a lot of people that I know that were in the uh, military. A lot of people. <clears throat> people from my family in the military, people uh, out in the desert that I knew in the military. I had a lot and a lot of uh, a girlfriend from uh, San Diego. Her husband was in the military. I think he's uh, no longer in the military. I, I don't know if he's still in the military. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. But yeah, I've got a lot of people that I know in the military. She was like a big sister to me. Susan? It's like this and like that and like this. Perry gave Don Barris a forced kiss. How fucking...
fucking dare you? He dropped me on his fucking face. I never fucking kiss that son of a bitch. Hey, Perry, it's Brian, a.k.a. Buckethead. Dig your streams, but please lose the bucket. You're stealing my look and my lawyer isn't as kind as Tony Olivis. Not stealing any look. Perry, it's Wes Most. I would love to get to know you. Give me a call and let's I chat. I am you. a new fan and new subscriber, but I have a feeling we'll be friends. That's not gonna happen. It already happened, actually. You called him. Oh. Hi, Perry. Shout out from the NFL. I'll give you $64 to, one, go to animal control, two, adopt a pregnant cat, three, shop back each kitten as it's born. You are disgusting! You are disgusting! Ugh! Ugh. You are sick, you fucking animal. How dare you make a fucking demented, demonic, disgusting, devilish fucking remark like that on my fucking page. Ugh. Fucking idiot. Fill your cheeks with Rice crispy Treats and talk like the Godfather. No! Oh, yeah, you can do that. Just just get a... Get, how about this? One Rice crispy Treat, break it in two, put it in your cheeks, and do a little Godfather. That'll be fun. That'll be a fun thing. I already talk like the Godfather. Why do I need to break this? Because he had stuff in his cheeks, you know, and you can say a quote from the Godfather. One of the famous ones. That is called an offer... And pay in one comment. That's pretty, uh, pretty slick. You know, I got so much shit on my arms. Uh, I got to jump in the shower like ASAP. You, yeah, when we're done. When we're done. We're almost done. We're better be done right, right now! Perry, right don't, the fuck now! Don't, no, Perry, don't do baby mode. We're doing this now, and then we're going to finish up. Please. Okay, so however this you want to do it. the stream! No, it doesn't. Why don't you break that in fours? I don't want to have a choking hazard here. Break that in fours. And yeah, you want me fucking dead too, you son of a bitch. No, I don't. What a stupid thing to say. Just fill your cheeks to where it's reasonable. Okay, maybe a couple more. What's about a loaf that I can put in my mouth? Right, that's good. That's good enough. Okay, do some. Don't, don't eat it. Do some Godfather quotes. Talk like the Godfather. What do you want me to say? Oh, Michael, Michael, Michael. Come here, Michael. Come here, Michael. What do you want me to say? The son of a bitch wants me to scream now. And act like a fucking idiot. <clears throat> Michael. Michael, I'm going to make him an offer he can refuse. Like that son of a bitch. Doesn't think if that son of a bitch think he's gonna kick ass with well, my stream, we're gonna make an offer he can't refuse. And it looks like it, this is the offer that he can't refuse. Hey, this is the Godfather. Now, if you take the Paracar Relicule Cats, we're gonna take care of you. Capiche? Uh oh. Hey, look, Bear Carvel alive, he's one of the family. So no, he did not kill cats. He's gonna kill you, you son of a bitch. Oh! Sam, I, 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 excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I think Sam Kennison came back to life. So for some reason, Sam Kennison came back to life. I don't know where, where, where. Sam in the room. Uh, l l listen here, listen here. Hey, l l l look, at, look at me here. This is Perry Caravello. I'm the number one streamer on Twitch. I'm very fucking good. You hear? 
you had to take my stream and 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 and, and be be the best with me. Uh, go fuck yourself. And let's see here. I'm a big fan of the hit on me. You hate a dark side film? That means you, you, you love me. Kabish? <clears throat> You're one of ours. You, you, you one of mine. Okay, you, you're here. If you're in the hate army, that means you're a Paracurville Alive fan. Kabish? This, this dipshit Phil, better known as Dark Side Phil, he's going down. He's been he's been on the internet for for seven too many years, seven years too many. He's been on the fucking internet. He's a piece of shit. And he thinks he wants to fucking deal. With, he, no, nobody wants to deal deal with his bullshit. <clears throat> he cries like a little bitch. This scary Perry guy, this Perry Caravelle alive guy. I want his money. Don't give him. I want to. Don't take my chair. Give me money. Don't take my chair. I got his chair. Fuck him and don't give him any more dough. Oh! I need all Dark Side Phil fans to come over to my side of the fucking internet. Let Dark Side Phil fucking starve. No one it feels like to starve for the past 50 fucking years. I'm now getting the fucking full bully here. Oh, oh, oh! Over and out. That was a pretty good godfather, I gotta say. Thank you very much. Not much more than I needed to say. Um, <clears throat> hey, welcome to the head of the For the duck said of Phil Fade, fucking haters, you got a home here. Welcome all to the hate army, to Dark Side Phil. You're welcome here. Capiche? Now, let me to, uh, show my love to you evermore. Mwah. Jenny, Whitney, uh, who's the third? Oh, yeah, Scarlet. Oh, 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 oh! Who gets here first? The one that gets here first, he goes. Marry me! You're mine! Oh! That's what I want to hear at my door! From Whitney, or Scarlett, or fucking Jenny! That's what I want to hear! Marry me! Oh, oh, oh! Listen, well, welcome all the hate army guys. You guys hate Dark Side Phil. I got a bunch of fucking lipstick on my arm. You guys, you guys hate up. You guys hate Dark Side Phil because he's a fucking loser. You got a home here. You got a home here because I'm fucking taking over for for dipshit Phil. I don't need no stupid video games to beg for fucking tips. Okay. Yeah, the video games are for kids. You think skateboarding's for kids? No, video games are for kids. Video games are for lazy asses who want to sit on the fucking computer all fucking day long. I like to be an athlete. I like to skateboard. That was my sport since age 10. Okay? I'm now 57. So 47 years, yeah, 47 years of skateboarding. I had to take a 28-year break, but hey, I'm back. Oh, I, I can't even scream. Oh, 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 oh! oh. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing, Papa John. That's my new car. I like in black. Hey, Kumbreth, oh, you never uh, wished me a happy Mother's Day, even the Mama Julie into letting you keep $1.34. She wanted you to have nothing. See? Ha 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 ha. I wish you... I wish you a dead Mother's Day, because I want to see the day you die. You evil fucking skank. You evil fucking skank. Stay the fuck out of my life. What's most rules? 
I like that he doesn't have sex with men and didn't kiss a picture of his alleged rapist. He also works with Amy. Hashtag moist foremost. Block that piece of crap! Works for Amy? You sick bastard! Block that name. Block Amy, block him. Baby Whitney. doll love you with your shirt off. Please grow out your chest hair so I can watch my pussy juices dry on it. Gonna squirt all over your face. When you get here. When you get here. When you get here, I want to hear a... Marry me! Ow, oh, ow, oh, ow! Oh! On my door. Then you gotta say, marry me! Toasty. Okay. That was for the bread in the mic. That was for the bread in the microwave. Yeah. Uh, well, fire well. that started. Yeah. Thanks. You keep <sighs> asking us if we want to see your birth certificate. We all have copies of your birth certificate from Amy. They were only $125 with your social. Those are frauds. Absolute frauds. Amy's a fraud. <laughs> She's a fraud and she should be in prison. Like her fucking husband. The other fraud. Dang Perry, you handled that fire like a real pro. That's why you're the best in the business and you're headed straight for the top. Bravo. Thank you, Garrett. Well appreciated, Garrett. Well appreciated. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I fucking took that plate and threw it on the, out on the front and on this patio. Thank you for subscribing. Suck it, Jesus. This wave got the smoke hashtag in ARP. Double ARP, well. Uh, the smoke is starting to clear up. It's still in my apartment. It still stinks like a dead body in here. Um, I, well, I, don't, I don't know what to do. Spray it with Lysol when, when this uh, thing ends. I gotta jump in the shower. I'm, I'm Not now. We're still we're still going. I, I lost you on the uh, thing, so I gotta call you. You lost me on 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 the thing. On the phone, yeah. The thing. The phone. I'm calling you back. That's the thing. Yes. So answer the phone. Thank you. Scary Perry skateboards. Oh wait, it's too late to say that. That's a defunct. That's a defunct business that never made any money. This is a successful business. You answer Perry oh, Caravel alive. alive. I'm sorry. Yes, that's a successful business. There we go. Whitney Cummings is proposing to me. For twelve dollars, will you microwave your fire alarm? It's annoying. Fuck you. Okay. Fuck you. Microwave my fire alarm. It's annoying. Yeah, it's annoying to know that when your fucking apartment's on fire and you die, you got no fire alarm to fucking go off to wake you up. Stupid ass. Come breath. Did you burn this shit apartment? You better not have burned my credenza, you scamming comedian, or Brian will kick your teeth in. Ha 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 ha. You demon, you evil demon. And, it's, and that credenza will never be yours. Never be yours. Even in my death, my daughter gets everything. Look at this clown. 
fake Italian and fellow snowboarder Joey Kako Diaz. Cocksucker how much to nuke a couple of zannies in the wave? I'll shit in the shower. You're a fucking loser, you sick bastard. Xanax. I don't take Xanax. Fucking idiot. Thank you for subscribing on YouTube. I see a little over 700. Brian introduced you to celebrities and you scammed him. RC put you in movies and you raped him. What? Don put you in movies and you kissed him. Your tracheotomy is fake. What? All fucking lies. All fucking lies. Perry, it's 9 p.m. in that high desert skank Amy just sent me a prophecy. She said for you not to use the microwave. I hope you get this in time. Oh, brother. A prophecy. I'm not using the microwave for anything anymore this evening. That fucking piece of bread in the microwave was enough to fucking uh, nearly kill the microwave. It's not going to die. I need a good microwave. And oh, yeah, my publicist. My you don't have a good. First of all, I'm not your publicist. Video. I'm not your publicist, but. Uh, I said manager. Okay, whatever. But can you agree that it's not a good microwave? A, a microwave no! shouldn't. A microwave shouldn't smoke like that with less than five minutes of a piece of bread in there. I'm sorry. A microwave no, should a be able to handle that. It's not used for bread. Yes, it's not, it is. Not, it's not used for toast bread. You fucking moron. Not a toast. Toaster is not used toast. The toast bread. Not toast, but it should be able to warm things up without catching on fire. I mean, uh, it's happened a couple of times now where it smokes, you know, with regular product. It's not like you're putting uh, aluminum cans in there or anything like that. No, 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 no. Bullshit! That stupid shit you made me put in the microwave! Bread? Microwave. Bread oh. is stupid shit? Bread? Bread? It can't handle three minutes? Yes. It's not a microwave item, you stupid jag off! Yes, it is. You can make people microwave bread all the time and heat it up. Well, I don't never use a microwave for heating, mic heating bread. Just to heat it slightly, maybe not for three minutes. Never. My point jag is, off. my point is, any microwave mm -hmm. worth its salt should be able to handle three minutes of microwaving bread without the fear of catching fire. It was in there for five! Okay, e even five. Even five. Oh, fuck you. Even five. That that microwave is not a quality microwave. Not for you to even say. You have no clue how quality that, that, that type of quality that microwave is. Your goal! And they fucking pricks all in that white box, motherfucker! Before you turn on the job back, can you please say, and you thought the show sucked before now for something really stupid? We're done. Nothing stupid. Perry, I plan to jump through your window soon with a brick wearing a mask made of AstroTurf to test how prepared you are to be a real man. Some real shit. <coughs> You're not allowed here. You're not allowed here! Perry, it's what's most. Now that you admit you negotiated mouth sex for vouchers, are you afraid you will be arrested for prostitution? It's a You're the fattest pig I've ever seen. Oh, go fuck yourself, you fucking loser! We want you to star in the sequel to Old Yeller. It is called Old Yeller 2. Old Meow. You would be playing the part of the cat killer. Meow. Meow. Hang on, this stinks like fucking death. 
Still stinks like fucking death. Where are you going? We're almost done. And to figure out what's making my house stink like fucking death. Uh, I can I can list a number of things, but uh, you know we only have so many. Oh, so just tell me one. Tell me one of them. Oh, that chair for one. What well, the chair's not death. Not that chair. That chair. It's a great chair. Okay, sit down, please. Fucking idiot. I need fan confirmation. This is an official CNN poll. Did Perry actually kiss Randy Callahan on camera tonight? Press one for yes. Press Never! Two Never! Never! Julie Caravello, a.k.a. the shop back of Palm Springs, knew how to suck down enough loads to fill Lucille Ball's pool. Happy Mother's Day. My mom was never like that. My mom, my mom serviced. Oh, Jesus. My mom met and, and uh, sold jewel, not jewelry, cosmetics to Lucille Ball. More than once at iMagnons. Okay? And I skateboarded the pool. Went to jail for it. Perry Francis Caramello is celebrating Not 29 how you spell years my of consensual middle name romance or my last sex. name. Spell it correctly! It's Frank F R A N K Caramello! C A R is in car! A V is in Victor! E double L O! You son of a bitch! You really think that's necessary to go off like that? I'm getting tired of these fucking pricks that want to piss me off and misspell my name. And keep misspelling my name, they piss me off! Perry, it's Wes Most. Before you turn on the job vac, can you please say and you thought the show sucked before now for something really stupid? I'm done with the shop vac. <clears throat> no need for the shop vac this evening. Please pack your microwave with all your clothes and CDs. Run them overnight before you go to bed. I'll give you a Dogecoin for this. Oh, go fuck yourself! Fucking jag off! The microwave is done! The microwave will never be used on my stream ever, 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 ever again! Cocksuckers. Now what? I gotta make another fucking phone call? Yeah, one more call. I just sent it to you. Last, last call of the night. I gotta get, get a new cover for my phone because this thing, the button is uh, all pushed in. I'm having a rough time trying to find the button. Okay, star six seven. Come here, you rat bastard. Okay. Hello? Hello, is Perry Caravelle alive? Who am I speaking with? Oh, uh, my name is John Diaper. Your good, 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 good friend. How you doing, buddy? You're the psychopath, aren't you? I might be, yes. The douchebag diaper! According to you, I mean, 
That's what you say. I, I Why aren't you in prison, that. you sick bastard? That's what I want to know. Why don't you fucking set your apartment on fire for fun? I, we all do things. We do I didn't set right. my, my apartment on fire for fun. That was not for really fucking not fun. I don't know. Fun is different to different people. But listen, I have something I have to say. And you don't have to get through this. You don't have to ever deal with me again. Uh, I feel like you've taken advantage of me for the past few months. I have a long fuse. But when you burn it close to the end, go over. You know, I never forget that person. And here's the thing. What? I'm, you're not getting rid of me. I'm not going anywhere. You and me are in it together. And what? I'm going to drag you along, and you and I are going to be very close one day, and we're going to learn and teach each other lots of things, a bunch of interesting things, too. Never! You can't be. Yes, well, you think you're hard, but you talk shit, but you talk shit everywhere. You think you're fucking tough? You think you're fucking hard? Motherfucker! You're a psychopath, you sick bastard! Get off my goddamn computer, you son of a bitch! Done. Block him. He's never allowed. I'm blocking his number on my fucking... Block him right now. I'm blocking him on my phone right now. I'll take care of that, Perry. You don't have to do that. Don't worry about it. He's blocked. The son of a bitch. Well, that only blocks him from calling you, and I don't think he has your number. His number is blocked, so I don't get to call him ever again. Okay, I have one last offer. I'm just confirming the details. If it's something ridiculously stupid, go to bed. Well, you know, you're ridiculously, uh... I've already done my ridiculously stupid thing. I nearly burnt my fucking apartment building down. You son no, you, of a bitch. No, you did It wasn't anywhere near that, Perry. It wasn't anywhere near It was that. getting close. No, you took care of it. For $42. Put your credenza in the microwave, then defrost it for three years or so, please. Or just light just some matches and throw them behind you. Shut up. Stupid, stupid, stupid motherfucker. Okay, here is an offer, Perry. Uh, now this is going to get more specific, but I'll start in general terms. Okay. This is... Taking two eggs, smashing them together, and then rub them on your face, and you can wash it off once the stream is done. No. Hundred dollars? not. Hundred dollars? No. Do no. you have an egg? Do you have an egg allergy? No. no. If you don't no. have an allergy, I'm not you making a fucking deal. mess. I'm not making a fucking mess in my apartment. With two fucking eggs out of your fucking mind! Uh oh, baby mode warning. Tough shit! Tough shit! Tough fucking shit! No, no, we don't want to do baby mode. We, we, we've defeated baby mode, remember? Take a beat. I just, I, look, and Perry. Fucking egg, stupid trick. Uh, end the stream. But it's a hundred, but it's a hundred, Perry, but it's a hundred dollars. It's a hundred dollars. I don't give it a fucking million dollars! Fuck you! You wouldn't do it for a million? Million dollars, fuck you! Yeah, it's stupid. Don't do the fake Wolfman voice. Nobody wants to hear that. I'm not. I'm using my voice. Stop. 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 Dark side Phil and the Hate Army stand ready to decimate you and put you in the credenza. <laughs> the 14th Battalion of the 88th Legion stands ready to strike. The Hate Army's on my side. Ugh, stop with the fake. It. Stop with the fake voice. Nobody wants to hear that. Fake voice, fake voice, fake voice. Perry, do you feel better now that you admitted the Randy man sex was consensual? It was never rape, it was a business deal. Business deal. 
not what I wanted to have happen. You fucking animal. In this fucking stream right now. And then right now. And then How right dare now, you say? How dare you? Stop with the fake voice. Stop with the fake voice. 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 You're not allowed to turn the computer off. Fake voice. Fake voice. Good night. You didn't. You gotta read. Hey, you gotta read your plugs. 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 Show's not over till you read your plugs. Nope. Show's not over till you read. Come back and act like a gentleman and read your plugs, and then then we'll be done. So that's a no to the egg offer. Fucking animal. I think you should. I think you should really consider that egg offer though for a hundred. No. I know. See, Perry, you're in baby mode now. Perry, don't don't say your effing plugs. Take a beat right now and thank all your subscribers and all the 700 people watching right now. Nobody wants to see you, you act you, with the fake Wolfman voice and all that. Okay. No, no, not no, not zipping your mouth. Say say thank you for all my subscribers for another successful subscriber Sunday. It was great talking, to everybody. Be a host. Come on. Thank you. There shouldn't be that much of a struggle. Look at the camera and thank everybody. Thank you for everybody that uh, supports thank this channel. Thank you for everybody that came out to watch my stream. To watch my stream. <laughs> I guess. To deal with my bullshit. And I got my neighbors banging down my door now. Nobody's Pretty soon it's going to be the no, cops. Nobody's at your door. It's going to be the fucking cops. Nobody's at your door. Okay, here, read your uh, plugs. Follow, subscribe on YouTube, Perry Caravello. Follow us on uh, TikTok, at Perry Caravello. Join our Facebook group. Facebook.com forward slash groups forward slash Perry Caravello. Join the Discord. Perry Caravello official. Bonus content. Oh, I can't even see that way. Bonus content. There we go. Patreon.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Order a cameo, which is very important. Order a cameo at cameo.com forward slash Perry Caravello. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram, Scary Perry WCH. Listen to the Big Three Podcast at thebig3podcast.com. Exclusive Big Three content at big3premiummembership.com. If you want to send me mail, bags of money, uh, wedding rings to give to Whitney, Scarlett, and Jenny. Send them to P.O. Box number 9, Canoga Park, California, 91305, forward slash 0009. Thank you and good night. No, 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 no. Don't do your thank yous. We got to wrap up. Hold on. I just got to uh, read a couple more things. Here. Pay attention. Hi, baby boy. Now that we have established you consensually had face sex with Randy, can you tell us if there was any ass or ball play? Get the fuck out of here. No, there wasn't some perverted garbage like that, you sick bastard. Okay, here. I got some simple Simon offers here that should be very easy for you. Now it'll what? Be a good, and it'll be a, Okay, well, I'm going to tell you. This is from Dustin Hedberg. I can't stand that bastard. Why? He's a new fan. He's been very he's not, a, he's not a new fan! He's not a new fan! I've known him for over 30 fucking years! I don't even know if he's 30 years old. How could you know him for 30 years? He's a Don Barris fucking wannabe from Detroit, Michigan. No, he's not. Michigan. No, he's not. No, he's not. That's not true. Justin Hedberg has from, been around since the early years of Windy City Heat. He's from Cincinnati. And by the way, Windy City Heat is not 30 years ago. Anyway. Knowing Don is like knowing Windy City Heat right, for 30 right, move, fucking years. Okay, Perry, you're off base on that one. Dustin's a great guy. Uh, 
$20 to go into the hallway with the Whitney pillow and make out with her on the ground for 10 minutes. That's an easy one. It is, but I think it's a little long of a time, so let's bring that down I to a little. I loaded with fucking lipstick all over my body. Right. I'm not, but... I'm not gonna roll around in the hallway with lipstick on my body. I need to jump in the shower, this is sick. So that request was asked way too late in the ball game. All right, I, I understand what you're saying with that, but let me get to his alter alternate. He has an alternate here. Put the KFC bucket in the hall and throw three eggs into it from 10 feet away. Kind of like a throw game to see if you can uh, get them in the bucket. Mm, I don't like that offer either because it'll make a mess in the hallway. I agree with that. That's a fair point. Hold on. Okay. Period plus No matter how many dudes you consensually sleep with in exchange to advance your career, I hope you had a good day with your mom. Oh, God, I never had sex with any male. Okay, now here's my pitch for the two eggs thing. Since you're going to jump We're in the shower. Done! We're we done! Good night, God damn it! Hold on. Since you're going to jump in the shower anyway, and it says to the end of the stream, this will be the end of the stream. So all you have to do is smash them together and rub it in your face, and then we can end it. You jump right in the shower, and you you get 100 bucks. Smashing eggs on my face, making a mess over here. Do I have to vacuum up a fucking ton? Disgusting. No, no. You can no, lay down no, a no. towel. You can lay down a towel. Ow! Not going to fucking happen. Good night. I'm turning off my computer right now. Are you really? Good night. No, don't turn off your computer. Just say say goodnight like a real person. So you, you don't want to do the thing where you make out with the Whitney pillow in the hallway? I think you can do it standing up. You, you can do it standing up. You can do it standing up. That way you don't get any lipstick on her. You can do it standing up for three minutes. Three minutes! Bone. Alert. Investigator Bone here. Warren Beatty didn't offer you a role in Dick Tracy. It was Warren Butthole and the movie is Dick Chasey. Shut up. So I want to make out with Whitney when she gets here, not her fucking No, no, pillow. just do the pillow. She, she, believe me, if she's watching, she'll love it. Three minutes. I can't, well, I don't have to go in the hallway. I'll do it right now. No, do it in the hallway. Because the, the, the deal is for the hallway. The deal, no, no, the deal is for the that No, no, that, that's disgusting. That doesn't count. This doesn't count. So go out to the hallway. Let's just do it. And I'll get the trusty timer, and this will be a good way to uh, wrap up a great subscriber Sunday. Hold on. Hold on. What is that, a dog? Have a good night. Be safe. Okay. All right, hold on. Let me get the trusty PCL timer. All right. This is for us. Okay, go ahead. Uh, so starting now. Her mouth is seen worse. It's okay. Come on. Let's go. Finish it up. The time is still going. I don't want it to start over. I gotta deduct time now. You can't just leave it against you. You gotta be doing stuff. 
Like lick her face or something. I'm gonna fucking kill you when you get to California, you fucking brick. That's not nice. About to fall over. I'm so damn dizzy. One minute left. Somebody's saying grab her ass. You can grab her ass. Where her ass would be. Grabbing your own doesn't count. My ass. 15 seconds. No, nope, 10 seconds. Don't stop, I'll have to start over. You're good. Thank you. All right, let's 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 sit down and say goodnight. Well, you got something that else, so fucking... you can take care. That Randy Callahan thing is getting burned. No, it's not. We're gonna we're gonna that auction that off. It's being burned. No, it will in not. The morning. No, it will not. It's gonna get burned no. between now and tomorrow then morning. Then it's coming. Then it's coming out of your pay. No, it's, you're not burning it. We're gonna auction that off. As it's long as out of my pay, what five dollars, ten dollars, whatever the yeah. fuck it costs. Yeah, I don't think I don't think you get more than five dollars for that. I think somebody will pay a ha some sum for that uh, pillowcase. Now listen, I gotta. The, I gotta get a new security uh, cover for my phone. You're okay. Uh, the auction items I was hoping to get to tonight, we'll get to those on Wednesday. Okay, we'll get to those on Wednesday. And so as I, uh, I'll get the website together before Wednesday, and we'll get this organized. But uh, can I, I we'd have some. restart my computer now? In a minute. Hold on. You got sixty seconds. For five Shelby GT five hundred and several million dollars, climb in the microwave and run it for thirty seconds. Fan only, fan only. You could die otherwise. Yeah, sure. Good luck, sick bastard. It's the last time I'm wearing this fucking thing too. Well, don't throw the bucket away. <sighs> Good night. Seriously, take it out of the trash. It looks good on you. That fucking bucket is going in the garbage! $50 lay in the hallway and bench press the top of the toilet tank for a minute. Extra points for yelling I love blacks Shut with up. each Shut Shut up! You son of a bitch! Good night! We're done. Seriously, don't. Don't throw away the bucket. Everybody loves the bucket hat. The bucket goes in the garbage! No, don't do that. Not until the new... That's our, that's our temporary uh, hat until the new fedoras arrive. No, nobody likes that one. This one works. Fucking full of shit. All right, you want to come back and say goodnight? I said goodnight! Hey, we got good viewership. Maybe maybe it would be a good idea to do another hour. I said goodnight! You want to open some mailbag? Goodnight! Fucking animal! There's an offer for five Rice Krispie treats in the microwave for five minutes. Goodnight! 25 bucks. You're an evil son of a bitch! No, I'm Good not. Good night! No, I'm not. What are Goodbye. you doing? Are you, are you shutting down? Shutting down right now! Oh, no, no. We never like that. You're just going to restart? Oh, that's that's what it looks... That's what it looks like.
You didn't have to shut. God damn! You didn't have to shut it down like that. You didn't have to shut it down like that. Tired of this fucking sick, despicable bullshit. You're fine, Perry. Everything's fine. You had a great stream tonight. You did a good job. Everything's fine. Please, my ass. Nothing's good. Don't get into baby mode now. You've been good. You've been on a good run. Don't do baby mode now. Speakers off. Chair box off. Hey, Wes Mo sent in a uh, tip comment. Wes, we'll play that on Wednesday, first thing. Sorry. Wes Mose. First thing on Wednesday, we'll play that. Whatever. You, you got, uh, you probably have all the fans on. Well, he says, I, well, since you're on, I'll just read it to you, but I'll also replay it. He Ooh. says, Perry, it's Wes Mose. $25 to race the dog down the hallway, the dog that was out there. What? Winner gets to the, do the stream next Sunday. Loser gets to hump Amy Liberante's sexy thigh. All right, what are you going to do now? Are you going to jump in the shower? Yeah, somebody's outside my fucking door. Nobody's outside your door. I see it. Patio door. Oh, let's see who's outside the door. I don't know. You got it open, so you're probably hearing noise from the street. Yeah. I shut it. All right, so what are you going to do? Are you going to take a shower? All right, can you please Shut can up. you please oh, leave man. the uh, KFC bucket? I really like that. KFC bucket is in the trash. No, please. I'm I'm really asking you nicely, Perry. I do a lot for you. Can you say? Can you just put that aside for me? Let's just get one more wear out of it because the hat should be here this week. One more only. One more only. Thank you. Thank you. One more only. I appreciate that. Thank you. Prick. No, see, don't call me names. That's not necessary. I'm calling you every name in the book. All right. Anyway, you did a good job tonight, Perry. You did a good... Stop. All right, Perry, enough. Enough with the jokes. You did a good job tonight. Thank you. I'm leaving that fucking kitchen fan on. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, go take your shower. You did a good job. I'll talk to you later. Thank you. Good night. All right. All right, guys. I think he did a phenomenal job tonight. That was good. But, yeah, and I, I agree. He is a good sport. He's been a good sport lately. So, uh, all right. Thanks, guys. And uh, really, thank you. Thanks for hanging out. Really great job tonight. And uh, we'll see you on Wednesday.